Okay, back again, Traveling Dads. I forgot the episode number. <laughs> Perfect start. Boom. Off and running. Excellent. <laughs> hey, this is going to be a fun show. I'm I'm Kip. The, the, Paul. He's Paul. Yeah, gotcha. It. That, Check. That, that, that we have another douche with us today. Are we going to bring him up already? Yeah, because yeah. he's a correspondent. Check. Senior <laughs> correspondent for the show. Beep, 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 beep. Larry. Token big guy. <laughs> Yeah. Token big guy. Yeah, he is, he's our token big guy. Yeah. Not you, for long, though. He's lost a bunch of weight. How I much know. have you lost? A you, uh, about 24, 25. Nice, nice. You had slimmed down even smaller than that at one point. For one you? point, yeah. yeah. Like I stopped because the test coming up, I stopped cardio as much. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah. So I could uh, die faster. <laughs> That's what you want. Yeah. That's what you want. That's yeah, not wanna, a bad plan. Yeah. I don't want to do 45 minutes. I'd rather do like 30. Oh, do like they did with my time. Just 55 quit. minutes and there's like, oh, whoops, sorry, Cap. Sorry. Everybody's done. Yeah. And then... My partner died. Well, your wife, uh, <laughs> she's really good at cardio. I was watching her at Croilers. She didn't stop when everyone else was stopping. Yeah, she's an asshole. It's like, you communist. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. She's a fucking asshole. How do you do that? <laughs> Why are you being a douche and showing me up? I'm not even trying. <laughs> How's that? You see that uh, jacked guy they had down there? Uh, Super jacked. Super jacked? Purple belt. Purple Red tab on his purple belt. Oh, um, Cole. Cole. Oh, yeah, oh, that's Cole. Yeah, that's yeah. Cole Wilkin. So I didn't. Yeah. I didn't he's know. a beast. I yeah, he's him. a fucking. I don't think he fights MMA anymore. I but think I, so. I think he's a yeah. coach only yeah. now. Yep. I was asking Crowler about him. I'm like, hey, who's that jacked guy with the purple belt? And he's like, Cole. I'm, he goes, why? I'm like, well, I, I don't remember seeing him. You know, ever. Did, so I didn't did know he who not it was. friend request you? I don't know because he fr- friend request everyone. <laughs> anyway, everyone. So I, I tried initially to do the uh, running around part before yeah, that was I realized cute. it's not gonna that not was gonna cute. work. But apparently, what, what Curler does is he like claps. And then you turn around and go the other way. I was not aware. So they clapped, and I happened behind him, and he turned around and ran right into me. So then the next day, I wasn't sure if I was sore from that. <laughs> <laughs> or your knee just being disgusting. <laughs> Getting hit by yeah, a brick house. Yeah. Either way, I felt like I got hit by a truck, and I'm pretty sure it was Cole's fault. Fuck like you, it. Cole. Let's blame him. Yeah, yeah that's where way, I'm going with that. Way to go. He'll murder me. Yeah, he doesn't know who It's I fine. Am. It's better that way. Uh, yeah, but yeah, so Larry's our token uh, big guy. You'll understand uh, be, later on while he's here. Uh, Paul, you want to tell him what the show's about before I we get into sponsors? Uh, Croiler and I had an argument um, over the course of about well, a half hour, 45 minutes. And I'm like, hey, I don't really like to roll with, uh, with Is this the guys. one he called you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're texting back and forth, and it was like vehemently disagreeing over text. He's like, bro, I'm just going to call you, okay? I'm like, all right, you know? So he was... Uh, explaining to me why I'm uh, 100% wrong on on my thoughts about rolling with big guys. Because I always blame that. I'm like, hey, if I roll with a guy that's 145 and he's a spazzy fuck, I don't generally get hurt. But if I roll with a guy that's 230, I get hurt if they're a spazzy fuck. Yes. And so he was uh, giving me the you know a bunch of reasons why. It's not really about the weight. It's more about being the spazzy fuck part. Or the control. Or the control, yep. Yeah. So he goes, it's less of a weight issue and more of a asshole issue. No. Oh, or a lack of self-awareness sweet. issue. And that's yeah. what we're going to get into. Check. After mildly important people. Go ahead. Top Mount Apparel. Get this party started. Uh, dot com. GD10 at checkout. Do it. You can save yourself 10%, bitches. Do, uh, do I say swag again? Is this, Fuck is this no. when I say swag? Old man, I've told you to fucking stop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm older than you, yet you keep using <laughs> shit terms. Don't understand. Do not understand. I don't know what else to say. Yeah. I don't know what the cool I'm gonna are I'm going to go saying. with nothing, sir. <laughs> if you would like very funny clothing. It's not funny. Well, some of it is. Some of it is yeah, freaking hilarious. Fucking what are you talking about? I love it. So um, check them out on there. Uh, they got some great stuff. Uh, great uh, message coming across with the regardless movement. There will be more about that when they get that into its own separate entity. Way to fuck up the show already there, Larry. Um, <laughs> fucking moving your big gulp around. <laughs> we gave him like a 20-minute dissertation. Here's what you can't do. The first thing he does. <laughs> Away from the mic. <laughs> oh, I heard it. <laughs> I'm like under the table with my arms crossed. Does that count? <laughs> All right, we're going to tape fucking guests yeah. down from now on. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you're a guest host, man. We gave you a new title, correspondent to the stars, and uh, you're failing. Sounds about right. Yeah. First I, time I, fail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not even first time. First five minutes. Yes. Well played, sir. Yeah. That's the goal. That's Fucked the goal. up our sponsor. Now Al's going to be like, fuck Larry. Exactly. <sighs> we love you. Yeah. 
check them out on Instagram. They got some great posts going on there. Uh, Proud White Belt BJJ. Check them out. They're kind of affiliated there, uh, keeping people going. Uh, who's the next guy? Speaking of tap tape. That motherfucker sent us a care package. Oh, yeah. We got all kinds of tapies. Yeah. Fun. Yeah, looking forward to it. It's all, you notice he sent you all death grip? Uh, yes. Yeah. And it's mm-hmm. appreciated. And I yeah. like it. What I'm confused on is like the tape that's like one millimeter thick. It's for uh, baby fingers like me. Oh, gotcha. Baby fingers. Check, check. But yeah, we got some. I'm going to check it out. It might work great. You don't know. All right. We're going to check it out. Maybe. But but thank you, Mike. (laughs) Yeah, we we, we got some patches. We got some. um, Flags. Flag. What do you call them? Yeah, we got flag. It's that thing. What is that? That thing. Yeah, Larry. That's flag, right? Flag enough for me. (laughs) (laughs) It's flag enough for Larry. We're good. (laughs) Anyway, good stuff. We appreciate it. Yep. And uh, look at him, Mike. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And and he came in second in his tournament over the weekend. Yeah. Congratulations, sir. Way to go, buddy. Uh, Way to not get first. Anyways. (laughs) Um, Silver. <laughs> way. He's the first loser. Good job. At least you tried. Yeah. Man, first runner up. Yeah. So proud of you, buddy. Uh, no, that's pretty awesome because I'm the first runner up of absolutely nothing. So, uh, but yeah, check them out on my Amazon's a great way to find them. Just type in tap tape. Great way to find it. Review it because we know yet you'll love it. Yep. It's great Save. tape. Great stuff. Save like, your digits. Yeah, for sure. They they can go on toes. It really can. I've done it. Works great. Most people do. Yeah, Al doesn't. He doesn't want to desecrate his tape. Ugh. <laughs> Fucking weirdo. I know. Well, to each their own. Yeah, weirdos. Use it. But yeah, definitely check out Tap Tape, and you'll get taps and stuff. Yeah. It makes your grip exponentially stronger. Orders mm-hmm. of magnitude. Yeah. 747 type pulling shit. See if Otherwise uh, known as pulling Croiler along. If Mike would have put that tape around his throat, he wouldn't have got choked out. Yeah, dude. Fuck, so I'm not sure why he didn't think that through. God, dude. Maybe you have separate. enough tape. Like, make yourself a fucking mummy. Nobody yeah. will tape you. Exactly. <laughs> Nobody will tap you, dude. It's awesome. Pro, what were you thinking? <laughs> and uh, then we got Black Line Jiu-Jitsu. That's where we train. That's where Larry trains. Yo, Larry. Go, hey. Larry. Um, if you guys have listened to the show for a while, um, you've heard about Black Line. You've heard about everyone needs a Larry in their school. Uh, Larry's our positive fucking force of all that is great. And uh, he seems to love every move that was ever invented. Everyone. And uh, blows his mind pretty much every time. Yep. So that's what Chad's doing over at Black Line. Does a lot with the kids. We talk about a lot, but bring your kids on by. They're going to learn a lot and have a lot of fun doing it. Um, Yeah. Chad Palmeroy is, uh, you know, it's mildly important. Uh, Hasn't murdered me yet, so that's positive. Till next, and, uh, Til yeah, next week. Till next week. Till next week. Wait. <laughs> There's for always it. another week. Uh, but yeah, definitely check us out, Grand Rapids, Michigan. If you're ever in the area, let us know. We'll, you know, we'll get you in there. And there's one other important dude. Do uh, you know who it is? No, Larry. I forget. Uh, no idea. Yeah, no, he's not no. that important to the show, really. He did write the pro tip for today. Uh, is that important? Well, I mean, I could have wrote it. I mean, it'd be misspelled and. You know, nonsensical, yeah. but whatever. And, and wrong. <laughs> Wildly wrong. There's that. Uh, but Croy LaGracie Jiu-Jitsu, check him out. Just once again, type in Croy. More than likely, you'll still find him. Uh, his name's, you know, unique-ish. Not in not in regular Google search, you would think. Really? Yeah, it gives you a bunch of other names. Scary Gorilla. Monster. <laughs> Those Mon- kind of things. Monster. Check. May have children in the basement that he ate. <laughs> Larry joined in. You're going to die too. <laughs> I assumed yes. from the other day. Yeah. Sitting oh, at the Mexican restaurant making yeah. fun of him. The pictures. Oh, that was great. Yeah, that was good. Oh, yeah. He did say he was going to kill you. Yeah. It's You're perfect. Right. It's See, perfect. I get that a lot. So it's it's to group. It. Yep. It, it's kind of a rite of passage. He's, yeah. He told Jen next next weekend. He said, I expect it. And I was like, oh, it's better than nothing. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. It's a good thing, right? Get out of student loan debt, that kind of stuff. You know. Hey. Yeah, you're dead. Yeah. Amy's good. Yeah. She'll, she'll find another man. A million dollar life insurance policy. Perfect. Yeah. Still got student loans? Technically. Oh, I can fix that. Yeah. Not on the show, though. What the hell? <laughs> shit took a left turn <laughs> to shit I don't care about. <laughs> but we'll talk, we're we'll, black webbing We'll it. talk later. <laughs> but, but if you're in the Elkhart, Indiana area, definitely check it out. Uh, it's worth every penny that you'll pay for a private lesson or any kind of seminar you may run Larry's hey, don't been be them a, through them don't be a douche like me and actually Amazing. take notes yeah take like, notes did you say don't or do no take oh, notes take okay. notes yeah I wanted Larry my does. lesson to last longer and I didn't take notes and then I regretted them like oh, I bet. damn it the one time there was a few of us down there we did and it, I lost them 
Of course. How yeah. dare you? <laughs> but like I remember, like I want to go grab the paper and like scribble over with a pencil, like 1930s style detectives. Oh yeah, definitely do it like a, what is that? A chalk out. Yeah. Basically. Just a chalk etching is what you're doing. Yeah. It's great. It's like I lost them, but they're still there. Yeah. It works. Yeah. Jen's, Jen's notes make are hilarious that she makes when she's there because they're all like one sided and shit. And she's yep. like left arm here, right arm there. I'm like, what are you going to do if it's the other side? Shut the fuck up. That's what you're going to do. <laughs> oh, well, fair enough. But uh, definitely check them out. Uh, I think we're going to be out east at the beginning of the year. So, you know, if you want a seminar or you just want to meet me. Are you doing huh? that again? Anyone? Anyone? Yes. You want to come? No. I'm saying no because I can't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> Neither can I. <laughs> going anyways. Yeah, that's it. I think we can okay, start cool. our show. Can cool. we start our show? Larry D., do you want to say anything? No. Um, can I no. ask you? <laughs> I got to ask you a very important question. Sure. <laughs> Because I told you I was going to ask. I love it. Uh, how'd you get started in BJJ? I don't remember. Oh, it's the best answer yet. I like it. Good job, buddy. Here to stay. Fucking hate that damn you question. Probably listen to a real podcast like Jocko Willink and said, that sounds like a great idea. Like every <laughs> other person that's come on in the uh, gym. Like, yeah. hey, how'd you hear about us? Oh, this podcast. I'm thinking, yeah, we're reaching out to people. It's always Jocko. No, one was, always. One was Rogan. One was Rogan. Uh, yeah. No, I've only heard of the Jocko. One. Yeah, so yeah, it was one of the other guys. Yeah, it was Rogan. Like, fuck off. Yeah, he's. They got talk the, about more weed than you jujitsu. Uh, Damn it, Jocko's got the number one jujitsu podcast, and it's not a jujitsu podcast. Dude, it's like twenty percent jujitsu, <laughs> if that. Yeah, it's not. And good. it's just the sponsors. It's just the jujitsu sponsors, and then the rest is just people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yep. Yeah, sounds about right. Pretty much just because he does jujitsu, it makes it a jujitsu podcast. Okay, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, I don't mind Jocko. It's just I can't do it. Everything sounds like it's a horror story that he's telling. Yeah, it's, it's his positive. voice. Yeah, it's, it's his voice. Because he's a savage. Yeah, it's not my it's, thing. I that's can't. That's what do happens. It. You get choked out for a living for like twenty years. You, get that you think so? Deep gravelly uh, voice. I thought you just had to be a badass. That Came too. I'm assuming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just assuming. Why do you sound like Batman? <laughs> that's what it is. He just listened to Christian Bale once. And just, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got him. that. Oh, that strikes fear. I'm gonna do that now. I'm Jocko. <laughs> it's great. Uh, so you want to start with the pro tip? Because I got nothing else. Well, I was going to, but I got a question for Larry. Ooh, ooh, question for Larry. So you're one of the bigger guys in the gym. Yes. So do you find that people avoid you a lot because of your size? Some. Some? Girls. Or? Girls tend yeah. to, which is fine. I I don't really feel like crushing people. I'm a nice guy, you know, but. Not when you're rolling with the, uh, the smaller folk, such yeah. as myself. Do you... Try to just use what you have, use your weight and use your no. attributes or not. No. <clears throat> the only people I use that on are the ones that like seemingly know how, like, let's just be a jerk this entire time and grab you by the ears and the throat. And then, okay. Yeah. I'll lay on you. Yeah. So you, <laughs> so, so I can you, fix this <laughs> issue. And, and then like it is, like I lay on them, they just go, Ugh, and I, say, I yeah. win. <laughs> so you get it. Like uh, some of the pro tip is about, you know, everybody's got attributes, right? So yep. you got size, strength, flexibility, speed, but nobody bitches about the uh, flexibility and speed. Yeah. The only bitch about the size and strength. Yeah, yeah which is int- yeah, yeah, which so. he gets into that. It's actually pretty. Yeah, it's it's. I can't wait to hear that. Actually, well, let's get into it. Well, hold on. I, I got now. I have questions. Oh, for well, Larry. proceed. <laughs> proceed. Actually, now I'm just going to make one up. Uh, no. Uh, so, do you think it's actually been a detriment to your learning by having to go light on people? No, I think it makes me. It makes the skill come out better. Okay. Makes me learn the skills because, like, we're rolling with you guys who actually know some of the stuff, and I copy some of your moves. Mm-hmm. And now it's like when we meet up, it's like I know what you're going to do. Stopping it at this point, still not, but I, I mean, know. you did a great job of booting me right in the fucking that eye. That's true. You did teach me that, like, hey, put your knee right here next time. I was like, okay. Oh, he forgot. <laughs> yeah, I forgot I showed him. And uh, yeah, I had butted his knee. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> fucking it, it was hurt. loud. <laughs> it was loud, dude. To, to be fair, <laughs> I, uh, I destroyed my knee on Larry. <laughs> he didn't do also it to me. True. I'm like the same. It's on my knee as well. Nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you, so if you know anybody that needs a hurt, just come uh, talk to my knee. <laughs> talk to my knee. It works out great for everyone. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> but I've been wanting to ask that question for a while because uh, Brandon, who is also a low, one of our larger guys, uh, I meant to ask him too. Like it's just, it seems like if you're trying to hold back that much and you're worried so much about your your weight and not crushing people, it would take away from you trying to learn a yeah. technique. But if not, awesome. Do you I, try to put yourself in uh, bottom position a lot just because you would normally not find yourself there? Uh, depends on the person. Yeah. How heavy they are. 
If they're heavy, I don't want to get laid on either. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, it's like, I know. I'm like, I'm a big guy. That hurts. <laughs> but like, if it's somebody's really, really small, I usually just kind of let it like you do when you just lay down and let someone mount. Like, yeah, go ahead. I know you're not going to do anything. Right. My, I'm pretty strong in the arms, so I'll just lay there. But then when you get somebody who's equal, it's like, it's a little bit harder. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Like, Whatever. no, I'm going to be on top now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to lay on you now. <laughs> hey. Well, you hey, got, hey, hey. but it's a good idea to get the big guys that can do that to you and yeah. actually just go on bottom yep. just so you can get comfortable well, it's in those good, uncomfortable yeah, situations. Yeah, it's best uh, you are you aren't a really competition. You got did you did one, correct? No, no, no I just showed up to one. Oh, you showed and then up I to watch the guy get hurt, and then I was like, I'm good. I love Larry. Yeah, his because Larry's his so elbow realistic. Got bent backwards. Yeah, fuck you. I'm that out. Was good. Yeah. yeah, you did. You seen what? Saw a kid's elbow get bent backwards Ooh. in an arm bar. He was like, oh, I'm not gonna tap. I was like, that looks gross, and all of a sudden went pop. Oh, Ooh. that was well, the one. That's on him. Was yeah, that's on him. January. Dude. Oh yeah, but it was enough. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I can't afford that kind of. Yeah, that's where I'm at too. Because mm-hmm. you know, I just I can't afford to get hurt <laughs> yeah. when people don't care about my well being. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I can probably get away with getting hurt. Let's, let's be honest. No one really likes you. No one really likes it's me all right. that much. You, and uh, I just get fucking hurt anyways, though. <laughs> it's like, I can not afford it. Oh, fuck. I don't want to actually do it. <laughs> you, know, oh. you know, it's actually a good point. You might as well do competitions. <laughs> I yeah. know, really? Why not? Like, I I, at this point, why don't you? Yeah, because I'm fucking broken. Yeah. I you literally have anyway. a snapping noise that you can hear in my shoulder. It's pretty cool. It's I great. like it. Yeah. It's great. Legit. I can't wait for this pro tip, though. Because, right, oh, are you going to read the email first? Because um, we got asked for this by one of our listeners. Wasn't it Bully? I think it was Bully. About the competition? Uh, no. This is... We got a couple of them then. Yeah. We, no, we got, we got a bunch. We got, we got, we got, we got one about a shitty gym. I thought that was good. That was... We, yeah, that was that was got, long. We got one about, should I do uh, a competition as a white belt? Yep. And... <laughs> we, we, never, about, <laughs> we never answered and he just made his decision. He's just like, Sorry, I'm going to do it. I'm like, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll like it. I liked your post. That, count, that <laughs> counts mean, as an answer. I think so. It's so, a reply. Yeah. So I'm in the, I don't understand why they have competitions for white belts because they don't do jujitsu per se. Sure. Yep. But I'm also in the camp of do what you want. Sure. So yeah. That's I why mean, I like uh, Fuji. They do the no wrestling six months and under, which is smart. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So like you guys get people who have been there three months. They're not going to get destroyed by, you know, four time all state wrestler. Yeah, that's going to be fun, huh? Yeah, <laughs> like, it's not. Well, there was a, well, there was a legit. How are they so good? There was a legit dude in the younger class, like young adult class, at the one that you were um, refing, or what? What the fuck would you call it? Scoring? Uh, I guess yeah, you were a yeah. scorekeeper, Standard sitting boringly person. by a yeah. uh, computer, playing on the internet and watching this guy in front of me. Nice, that well was played. My job. And bucks. Uh, yeah, that guy was wearing a singlet, so I'm like, ooh, I can. Oh god, that's a good sign, right? Yeah, it's like you're not a wrestler, are you? <laughs> Are you a really misinformed jujitsu practitioner? <laughs> <laughs> His mind did did, this, did this. you believe your coach when he was like, "Go get a singlet"? <laughs> Maybe <laughs> he lost happened? a bet. <laughs> he's like, "Hey, if you lose a bet, you got to wear a singlet to the tournament." <laughs> what was he like? Fifteen, twelve? Yeah, yeah. So like, no, it was like fifteen, sixteen, somewhere in there, because he had a high school singlet on. <clears throat> oh wow! And he wasn't a big cat. And he went up against like what a four-year-old girl. Yeah, probably. Because that's what they were doing. Oh well, yeah. Oh yeah. It's like, oh hey, you weigh one hundred twenty-five pounds. Perfect. You're gonna fight at one forty. <laughs> yeah, and he's a black belt. And he's a black belt. Yeah. I don't know how that happened. What are you, four stripe white? You'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Eddie, three stripe white belt. Yes. Brown belt. Brown belt. You'll be all right, yeah. bro. You'll yeah. be fine. You'll be fine. Get after it. Yeah, what the fuck? At least he has his uh, 75 years of wrestling experience. This is true. Yeah, and he also has that fucking... Uh, Ezekiel joke from inside somebody's <laughs> room. <laughs> Did he try that? He tried it no, again, th- didn't they he? Just had, they just went head-to-head the entire time, like with, with like kind of modified wrestling clinch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For... Two fights. Oof. Sweet on the neck. Super fun. Yep. yep. So the, the hand on the back of the neck, yep. um, dancing. I'm going to give yeah, my over, much. essentially. I'm going to give my ode to butt scooting because I would rather see butt scooting than somebody just smashing their forearms oh, together for so, yes. five minutes. I got yes. so fucking sick yeah. of seeing that. It was yep. over and over again in adults. I walked away from the adult mats. I'm like, this is fucking boring. That's smart. Yeah. Because so it wasn't smart. jujitsu. It was just yeah. smash. Hold on to each other. Yeah. Paul Elliott and uh, Croyler uh, changed my mind. Uh, butt scooting makes matches more fun to watch. Yes. Anything's better than that. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> Even that one where that, did you see that video? I think it was a couple months ago, a guy butt scooted, but did it like a jump mount and a yes. broke a guy's leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was Ooh. like, that was yeah, still, yeah. even though the guy your leg broke, that was still more exciting than yeah. Yeah. fun to watch. <laughs> I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. That's why they banned white belts from doing that. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. They shouldn't. Yeah. I mean, just if after a, 
period of time two minutes ago, just say, hey, sit down, slap hands, let's go. Yeah, because I'm, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not there to watch a wrestling match, and I'm not there to watch a judo match. I'm there to watch jiu-jitsu. Yep. Or they should just start people on their knees. <laughs> sure, give them an option. Like, I really kind of agree. I'll go down if you let me start on my knees. Yeah. Plus, I'm too old and broken to get thrown. Or, or you, oh, make it like football. You win the coin toss, right? Yes. So do you start in somebody's guard or in guard? That's a perfect idea. Or, uh, no, just fucking put them on the ground. That's what I'm saying. I mean, like, period. You're, you're not in somebody's position. Literally how we start our role so yeah. no one gets, not everyone gets fucking hurt at gym. Yeah. At the, at gym. At gym. At the gym. Just you got to say yeah, it with yeah, everything yeah. and inflection. Jackass. I'm so stupid. Yo, but yeah, know. it's why can't you just be sitting on your ass and starting it just like we do there? It's fucking so annoying watching people. I'm holding onto your face. <laughs> I would rather start with somebody on my back with a choke three quarters of the way sunk than have to try to take somebody down. Yeah. I'd probably I mean, do I'm better. Just, yeah. Oh, I'm Especially jumping. my size. No way. Fuck no. I saw no. the guy. He, he lifted a guy up in the air and like WWE suplexed the Ooh. guy. And I was like, he's not waking up. <laughs> he took him a second. Ugh. And you're like, he's okay. He fell off the mat, but he's okay. Well, you know, that's what was it at least for? fun to watch. Oh, it's fun for me. Perfect. Yeah, the other guy didn't get any points because he threw him so far away. Wow. Oh, yeah. yeah. Probably got disqualified. Uh, I don't remember. Oh. At that point, the referee wasn't paying attention. So uh, it was just kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> He's like watching butterflies. Yeah, he and was. Kicking rocks. He was. He's a nice dude. Just, yeah. We were just kind of zoned out. Gotcha. It was like the third match of the night. Oh. Yeah. yeah Poor guy. He made it. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I was trying to find the email. Anyways, go ahead. All right, cool. You're not finding it? No. Nah. Perfect. All right, Curlers Pro Tip. The GDs asked me to discuss being a big guy in jiu-jitsu and how to roll slash train as one without hurting or offending people. The offending people is weird because um, I, I can I can just do that with words. It's fun. Oil check. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Maybe. Oil is that check. offensive? Not to me. I don't me. know. It depends. Yeah. Depends on the person. I was like, yeah, yeah it depends on the recipient. <laughs> this is a difficult topic. Oh, who's are. doing it. Yeah. yeah right? Yeah. <laughs> who's oil checking me? Well, if it's Corler... He's oil checking your tonsils because his hands are fucking huge. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> no, we're going to stick here. <laughs> this is difficult. Uh, this is a difficult topic, but one that I am well aware of as I am a big guy. This was triggered by some dude named Dan Cobb, I think. Who's Dan Cobb? Yes, that would be who emailed us. Check. That's what I thought. Is that the email you're looking for? No, I found it. Huh. You want to read it before <laughs> I go too far? <laughs> Basically, no, it's fine. Right. He basically just asked, um, you know, if you guys could ever do a show about being a big guy and what I should be doing and this and that. Well, it's, here you go, Dan. This is for you. Yeah, it literally is. Uh, yeah. Anyway, here we go. Before diving in, I am only going to cover the surface level difficulties that you may encounter. Th- good Lord. As a, shut up, kidding Kip, me? Shut your face. As a bigger guy in jiu-jitsu, what triggers those difficulties and how we work around them? Yes, Kipper Doodles, that was just for you, as this is an important part of the journey Fucking, that is jiu-jitsu, uh, and I wish to do it justice, and oh today goodness. I will have to keep it short. He's such an asshole. He pulled off everything and annoys me <laughs> all in one sentence. I uh, know more about this, and there's a journey and a path and a journey. Go. Can I, can I move on now? No. <laughs> this is so, bitter. first let's define what is a big or bigger person in jiu-jitsu. The label big or bigger is often overused and misused term as it does not describe an individual. Rather, only that individual compares to you or your idea of yourself. Example, a 145-pound uh, dr- may think a 195-er is a big guy where a 250-pound guy might think that a 300-pound guy is big. You may argue that a 300-pound guy is big no matter what, but for someone that is 275, a 300-pounder might not be a big guy. It's all relative. I see myself as a little guy. Do you now? <laughs> That's interesting. Interesting. And I move like one. I'll give you that. Yeah, I was going to say he most certainly does that. <laughs> but because I don't have the strength that a big guy does. Um, he's way stronger than he fucking thinks he is. So it's oh, weird yeah. because... It, it's not that he shows up, I just... He is. He's just naturally stronger than he thinks so he is. Me and him might have another argument over strength, right? Because yeah. just because you can't bench press 300 doesn't, doesn't mean you're, you're not strength strong. Good. That's true. There's That's rolling true. strength. His, just... his jiu-jitsu strength is ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. That's what I would call it. You yes. know, you have lifting strength. You have that athletic strength. He has jiu-jitsu yeah. strength. Yeah. If he goes into a powerlifting competition, yeah, you're going to come in last place. Yes. But that's not what we're talking about. No. Totally different sport. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 
Um, so, I often see guys that are around the same size as myself and think that dude is huge. So, the relativity isn't always necessarily even due to physical size, but sometimes on how we see ourselves. All right, you do you. Another way of explaining this is sometimes we grapple people our size that just feel like they are two to three times stronger than we are. Now, I get that. Yeah, Paul's <clears throat> been called that. Shut your face. And we don't believe they weigh the same amount we do. We see them as bigger or stronger than us. Yeah, you always get the, yeah, it's the athletic guy, right? So there's a few people in our gym that they grab a hold of you and it's like, oh, oh, oh shit. You're a big guy. Yeah. Oh, you got this grip that I just can't rip off no matter what I do. They yeah. work with their hands. Super great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. They pound steel for a living. Yeah. You see those forearms and Popeye's begging. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, yeah, that's a thing, too. So even if, you know, all things being equal, they both weigh 150. You know, one guy, you know, punches computer keys all day long. The other guy throws steel all day long. Yeah, that one guy feels really big. It's well, just what it is. What do you think about that? Like, how do you feel like you... Is There's not many people in our gym that are around your size. There's probably like... like one, two. Yeah, one or two yeah, guys yeah. besides yourself. Yeah. Um, depends. Each, I think it's weird. Like, when you... Like, with Paul... He's really strong. God damn it. He works, he works in a, uh, <laughs> he works in a machine ever. shop. You know, he d- works with his hands all day long. Myself, even though I'm a big guy, I'm an accountant. I've, I quit digging ditches and stuff like that. I'm yeah. like, screw that. My back is destroyed. Yep. So, but you can just pick them out and you know who, like, all right, this one's going to be harder. This one's going to be easier. Okay. But I don't, I think it'd be hard like going into a competition knowing that. Yeah. Because you're just looking at pure size, yeah. not, not uh, you know, familiarity. It could be unicorn wranglers. You never know. <laughs> That's my dream job. It, it can be done, Scotland. Uh, I want to go there now. Well, guess where I'm moving. Yeah, we're doing this grappling dead Scotland. Boom, done. I'm, I'm we in. have listeners. I'm for sure in. We you? have listeners yeah. there. All right, accidental. <clears throat> yeah, you never know. <laughs> Whoops. What's this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the kind of grappling I thought they were talking about. Weird, <laughs> dude. Uh, just got to mention real quick since he brought that up. Uh, <laughs> Our city, once again, has slid down the list of fucking popularity. So they're dropped to, like, number eight. Whoa. London is number two. I'm like, really? Re- I love it. I love that. I really do. I love it. But come on, our city. There's Grand like, Rapids. Popularity is in what wise? Uh, amount of listeners. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because yeah. okay. I can see um, territory, like, uh, sure, sure. our top ten cities, our yeah. top ten countries. Demographics. Yeah, demographics okay. across the world. What are you saying is nobody in our gym listens to yeah, us. I know, you lying <laughs> sex of shit. It depends on the episode. Nice show, yeah. what was it about? See, uh, see, I don't, this is why I like Larry too. Yeah, exactly. This is why I like Larry, because Larry's like, if I if it looks interesting, I listen. Yeah. If it doesn't, he doesn't. So, so I got perfect. one that was about kids not yeah. too long ago. I was like, eh, my kid doesn't do it anymore. I don't care. Not fair enough. Yeah, she didn't, she didn't like it. Nope. So it's not for everybody. Yeah, no, it's not. So I think if we if we named everyone how to learn faster in jujitsu, we'd you, have you would more have lessons. explosions <laughs> Dude, every time. Yeah, I mean, for at least one. Yeah, and then <laughs> yeah, they get no, I think we would get like, like two because yeah. yeah. Well, then, hey, maybe it was this episode was off. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah let's do it. Yeah, let's do it again. How to Make be great at jujitsu? All right. Uh, this whole point was to imply. Uh, to simply state that the big or bigger training partner may only be that to you and not everyone else. Next, we should discuss what are the common fears or issues we have rolling with bigger guys and gals. What? So I'm, I'm listening. Um, are we supposed to be answering all the questions he's given us? Because there's like five to seven already. Oh, no. He throws them out as we, we consider those rhetorical. rhetorical. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I was like, I'm lost on three at this point. Yeah. And yeah. And then we're into a new paragraph. Yeah. Questions. So, yeah, exactly. And this is what he does. And this is why we're, we post them to our website, which is currently down. <laughs> hey, Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Fuck the internet. And <laughs> yeah, I got it. I got a text. Everything sucks right now. <laughs> yeah. That's all I said. And middle fingers. Yeah. That's all I did. That's all I said. I'm like, fuck. Oh. Good training. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's he, we pick out the answers we want to okay. give and it's usually Paul. <laughs> Or I'll raise my hand. Like Ugh. that's why I had my hand Ugh. raised. I'm yes. like, wait a second, I yes. don't want to hold on. I have something. There's Pick like me. 75 questions, and I'm lost on three. So, but you if you jump do, in any time. yeah, exactly. Okay. So that's why you're here. You're okay. not. You're not a guest. Okay. Like you're not. We're not going to interview you. I love that. Yeah, it, we, we don't want, even like you. We want to give. That's the best part. That's yeah. why I came. You're like, yeah. we don't like you. Please come. Yeah. Okay. Best friends. Best friends forever. And, um, <laughs> BFFs. Yep. And uh, but yeah, if you want to say anything, just go ahead and cut in. Say something. So. We we're listening to that. I like a lot what he's talking yeah. about on that. It's it's perspectives. 
because even like when I when I first rolled with Corlear, obviously there's that aura of like he's a black belt. My soul's already gone from Morgan. Let yeah, alone yeah, Morgan's soul. Like it. Yep. And then you know what I mean. He's like, here, I'm going to show you this cool move. He like did like remember the Roadhouse move where he grabs yeah. the dude's yep. throat out. He grabbed <laughs> me by my throat, yeah. and I'm like, I didn't know we could do that. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Yeah. It's just like those perspectives. You know what I mean? He's like, here, I'm going to get on top of you and do a knee on belly. I promise this is 35% <laughs> of like, what? My soul left? Yeah. You lying sack of shit. Yeah. That was the worst <laughs> thing in my life. Like yeah. Chad got on top and I was like, ha. I mean, it hurts a little, but it's not Croyler. It's not Croyler. Croyler yeah. feels like, on it, like we always talk about it, feels like he's going through you. So speaking of yeah. weight. There's levels to this shit. There's <laughs> levels to this shit. Because he's like everybody, you see him, you think he's humongous. He's really not. He's light. He's he light as be. fuck. And it's he'll go from the on belly, and he can control how much pressure he puts on. Animal. It's, yeah, he can, he can float on top animal. of you, and he can just go underneath you and just float you. I mean, yeah, it's it's pretty scary how good that dude is. Yeah, so, so you know, you know, go <laughs> weight-wise, do you guys feel that when you get, like, a smaller individual and they try to, like, go knee on belly, you just, like, hang out, like, okay? So, also, just like everything else, it's a technique. So it's yeah. not just because he's a big guy. It's because he does it correctly. Sure. We had a uh, an episode about uh, weight versus versus pressure. I remember and that if, one. And if yeah. you know how to correctly apply, apply yeah. pressure, it doesn't matter if you're 130 pounds. It's going to feel like Croiler did it if yeah. they're doing it correctly. Yeah, my neon <laughs> belly, terrible. because of Croiler, Croiler walked me through how he does it a few times, and I can't do it his way. The hell no! Like, no, but yeah. mine's mine's noticeable. Like, if I do it to you, it's it's not a hundred and seventy pound dude that I am. Mm-hmm. It's fucking noticeable. That's hundred seven pound with clothes. That's wet. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> carrying my children, <laughs> all three of them. <laughs> okay, I'm light. I get it, fucker. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's it's all relative. I think that's a really good point. And as usual, Carler, fucking are you talking a little bit shit. about like when you roll with? Um, a coach like Chad or Croiler, you know, sure. an upper level belt. Sure. You immediately go, well, I'm already fucked. And then you roll worse than you would normally. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I do. Get, it gets in your own head. Yep. Mm-hmm. Cause you're like, there's no way I could win as long as I can survive a third of a second before I tap for the fifth time. Maybe. What? Yeah. And which makes you, uh, cause I, I figured this out from a conversation with Chad. I was like, dude, I don't even like rolling with you. Not personally. I was like, it's me. I fucking react to you yep. terribly. Yep. I get scared. I'm yeah, like, I don't. But it's not even a conscious thought. It's just sure. I fucking roll like shit. Yep. I, and he goes, yeah, you roll really rigid. I'm like, really stiff. I'm like, yeah, yeah. It's because I'm just trying to keep you away from me. <laughs> <laughs> don't know why. I don't know what to do with my hands. Yeah, yeah. It's literally step brothers. I start reading <laughs> yes, it. I yes. don't know what to do with my hands right now. <laughs> and then I'm fucked over. Tell it <laughs> yeah, Exactly. Tell it. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, and, greatest uh, movie ever made. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. We can that can be another. Okay. Well we're gonna end the show now. <laughs> uh, we're gonna talk about yeah. it. Nice to meet everybody. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a blue belt. Clearly yet. I'll fuck you up, sir. <laughs> but uh did you yeah. say Shawshank? I did. Oh it's <laughs> different category, but yes, great yeah, movie. Check. Category. We gotta move on. I love how Larry's just yeah, making up his own rules to movie liking. <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> Total out of nowhere. Yeah. Okay, go. All right. Uh number one. <clears throat> I will get hurt. They are so big, they will squish me, crush me, or if they fall on me, I will break. I've even, heard that. Even if it's just Have accidental. You? Yep. The, uh, I'll just go up, hey, you want to roll? Like, oh, you're not going to lay on me, are you? I was like, that's kind of how jiu-jitsu works. Right, yeah. <laughs> but I promise <laughs> I'll be nice. That's what yeah. we do here. Uh, number two, they are just so strong. I can't do anything, and it's no. not fair. Never heard that. Uh, number three. <laughs> Well, hey, it happens. Uh, that's what they tell me. You're so you're weak too for strong. a big guy. You're too strong, Paul. Are you a pillow? <laughs> Uh, number three, they are so big, nothing I do works. Number four, they just lay on me and I can't do anything, and I just get smothered for five minutes. Number five, they just force things on me and they aren't technical. And number six, they are so strong, I'm afraid if they do catch me in submission, I will break long before I can tap out. Well, that, that one's stupid, but he's right. It's said. So he is correct. That is said. But why is it any more with a big dude? So the but one I'm just saying yeah, the one I hear the most are number one uh, I'll get hurt yeah and that's for sure three and four right they're so big I nothing I do works and they just lay on me and I can't do anything I just get smothered well I think four it can be with a lot of people like a lot of the newer guys that just yeah. like lay on yeah. top of you and they think oh, yeah. that gets an MMA fight and you're gonna punch them if they let go yeah so Ooh, that's that's, that's a, a good point that's I not really a, about that that's not a big guy issue that's a that's an overall issue, issue. yeah. But I think he's right, though. It, I think it would go to a, a bigger guy 
they would kind of go to that more because they're like, because they, yeah, because it's terrible. No, right. Like getting underneath someone that either knows pressure or is big does suck. Like Larry said that earlier, he doesn't like big dudes either that just are going to be able to crush you. Right. But there's more, I, just from my experience, uh, Larry, uh, um, what's our other guy? Brandon. Brandon. (laughs) Sorry, Brandon. Not really. Yeah, not really, actually. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Moving on. Uh, So uh, I'm rolling with them. I never feel like when I first met Larry Larry, that was a year and a half ago? Uh, When did you start? Or when did we move to the new gym? The Um, present gym. Yeah, July of last year. So whatever it was, like a month or so before we moved. Okay. Yeah, Yeah. so about a year and a half-ish. Yeah. Yeah. Dates. Yeah. Dates. Numbers. You didn't write this down, bro? What's wrong with you? Uh, Chad did. (laughs) Yeah. Good. And, uh, he yeah, he knows. And, um, so when I first started, like when I rolled with you, it sucked for me. Cause I, I didn't know enough to not, you know, to realize, oh, well, if I frame up and I just wait, I'll be fine Yeah, because he's going to have to fucking move at some point. Yeah. And I didn't know that. So I'm like, oh God, he's sitting on my face again. <laughs> it still, yeah. still loved you though. You were yeah. a great I was guy. A lot then. bigger then. You were a big cat when you came in. Have you seen the gi that he's the gi that he wear wore when he first started? Looks like a fucking bed sheet on him I, now. I can wrap it around twice. Yeah, oh, nice. Double, Dude. I, I gave it to somebody at the gym and yep. I said, "There's gonna be someone else that's gonna come in. It's gonna be a big guy. Yep, and they're not gonna be able to fit in those A twos that you have laying around. Just like, just let them borrow it. And if they want it, it was forty five dollars." Yeah, yeah, it was a great starter key. Yeah. Look at you go, and yeah, that bitch. He, 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 I remember when he brought it. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> that's a big gi. <laughs> it, it gets so bad, I get my own foot stuck in it. Yeah, it was. Big, I didn't dude. think it would be possible. My leg doesn't bend that far that way, but my own foot got stuck in my top. Fascinating. Yeah, it's yeah. so I got rid of it huge. the next day. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, we're done with this. <laughs> that's gonna break me. Yeah. So, yeah, what's the next points? All right, um, unless Larry's got to add something. Yeah, like no, said, okay. those, those are all good. <laughs> I think. I think the no? whole. Okay, moving. on. I think the whole Lambie thing, that that's more of a – big guys can do it, all things being equal, right? So if you have the same technical ability, we'll yeah. just go with white belts. If you're big, you can more likely smush somebody. Your pressure is going to yeah. seem greater yeah. even though it's just more weight. But cor- yeah. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, but if I lay on you and I don't want you to move. you It's tough to get out. Yeah, so yeah. I can yeah. do the same thing. It's yeah. just Shit, not big. I, should I can. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Whoa. Like whoa. Robert. Whoa. Robert can. Robert, when he wants to. When, yeah. When Robert yeah. really wants to keep that position and he's not attacking, he he's stays good. on pretty yeah. damn well. And he's 126 pounds. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Look at you, little fella. Go, yeah. Robert. Good for he's, him. Dude, he's come a long ways, yeah. dude. Especially he's, in the last like six months, dude. I think he's, he might be. No, he is directly. a fucking ninja. He's, yeah. he's like kung fu and he has some kind of red sash. Well, you and. I think that's cool. <laughs> you and Robert around the same time grew exponentially in jiu-jitsu yeah like what i think i, I, I think i uh emailed you or uh yes uh, facebook message you i'm yes. like bro out of nowhere we, yeah it was like hey it this was is, it was weird this is between one roll and the next it had been a, a couple of months and it was an order of magnitude better and I think it, the same thing happened with robert I'm like yeah. holy shit man it helps with who you're rolling with a lot okay when you're rolling with a lot of the spaz guys it kind of it affects you a lot because you're so worried about not getting hurt or we're rolling with like the well, really that's, senior that's, guys. Yeah, and that's where I'm at right now. Yeah. Is is I've just been rolling with people that hurt me. <laughs> I, I kind of try to stick to blue belts in that area because yeah. I know they know enough not to hurt me, but they're not going to hurt me on purpose. And you'll get better because the, after they choke you out or do something, they're like, this is how you get rid of it next time. Mm-hmm. And the more of that you do, you get a lot better. Surprisingly, if you listen. Yeah, well, yeah, you listen too well. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> <the> point. <laughs> Fucking kick me in the eye. The, one of the few things I listen to ever. Yeah. Perfect. You're, was, you're not moving a sweep in your eyeballs. Yeah, and it sucked yeah. really bad because yeah. it was my standard, like, I can nail this on most white belts. So Larry's like, ha, ha. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, <laughs> it that, hurt. That's why I, was so, I was so proud of that, too. <laughs> yeah, he, he had, like, people come watch. He's, he invited others to come watch. <laughs> like, and I was, like, I was like, I don't want to do this. It was good. Pressure. He's like, do it. Do it now. And I was like, okay. Yeah. And then instantly I felt his leg buckle underneath my knee. Yeah. Way to fuck yourself yeah. up. It's a good experience. Yeah. He didn't scream as loud as you did when you got <laughs> spiked, but it was a pretty decent loud. I was super fucking pissed. Oh, yeah. That was everybody at the gym didn't even phase anymore because we're so used to it. It's like, oh, that's Kip. Yeah. One, one day someone yelled, and I was like, Kip's not here. Yeah. That's how bad it was. Yeah, it's, it's like, bad. I don't know who it was. Yeah, but. I'm a shitty part of the gym. I get it. No, it's fun. Oh, yeah, you are. If you weren't there, it wouldn't be as fun. It would just be like, oh, that guy. 
Yeah, I fucking can't. Yeah, I'm a douche. Anyways, moving on. At least he knows. What's our next point? Uh, I lost my spot. Oh, I will go through all of those and explain the fallacy in that thought process. But first, let's address the two common roots for all of these complaints. The common roots for all of those complaints is simple. It's fear of injury and fear of being rendered incapable. So let's break down those complaints. One, they are so big they'll crush me if they follow me. Or I am more likely to get hurt by a bigger guy. This is simply not true. You are more likely to get hurt by a reckless partner, meaning one that doesn't watch out for your well-being than you are by one that does. Size is completely irrelevant, meaning if you get a 145-pound guy who is a super athlete and wants to win so badly he cranks on everything, he may hurt you long before a 275-plus-pound guy who is mindful of your well-being and will give you time to tap should he catch you in a submission. The usual counter-argument is, well, if a 145-pound guy falls on me, he won't hurt me as much as a 275-plus-pound guy. Can, <clears throat> can I ask a quick question? Go. Who are all these people falling during jiu-jitsu? I'm just really confused by the phrase. I think he means a rhetorical, like... No, because... It's, but, well, I'm sure me. he does, but what I'm saying is that's what people say, though. The takedowns. Yeah, that's like, oh, you're going to fall on me? Okay, well, we start on our fucking knees. That's not a long fall. That's not a long fall. Even with seven foot Justin, it's not a long fall. Oh man, he's tall and Adonis like. Yes, he's well, so pretty. I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, he's only doing nogi again. Oh, so he's so. coaching nogi. So, anyways, what if you get the big guy that does the whole uh, spike down on your throat Ooh. and then his oh. legs slip out? Oh, nemesis. Yeah, that's a nemesis. <laughs> yeah, it can be nemesis. anyone in the world. That's yeah. a nemesis. Yeah, but yeah, that's. Is that, I don't know. Yeah, if you're in somebody's guard and you. And you uh, triangle yourself. Well, basically, your, your <laughs> ass is in the air, and your feet are planted, and your forearm is across their throat, and that's how you're trying to pass guard or tap somebody out. One, fuck you. <laughs> All right, I, I, fuck you. And two, then if they they can fall on you because their feet can come. Okay, up I'll give you that one. Yep. Get, then yep. When they land, it hurts. elbow in the throat. Yeah, yeah, it's no good. So it's a thing. Well, no, you're right. That is, yeah. I'll give you that. That's a fall. <clears throat> So I think that might be what he's talking about. No, I was just asking. Yeah. I, I know what he's talking about. I know it's more of a rhetorical thing of or if they're doing and a, what people yeah. are saying. If they're doing a standing pass, they're doing a bullfighter, and they're coming around, and they slip, and they fall on you. That's a thing. Did you see when Claude just did the bullfighter on Ben <laughs> on Ben during his test? He was so tired. He was doing the bullfighter fucking warm-up on him. <laughs> <laughs> I was, so I, I I was like, you are that. such an asshole. You might have been rolling at that time. Did yeah. you, you rolled, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was fucking hilarious. Rolled in air quotes. Sure, sure. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I gimped off. They're like, why would you do that? I'm like, I'm not not going to roll, bro. There you, go. Like, there you go. These are my brothers. Your friends, yeah. 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 I get it. <laughs> okay. See, the rolling started. I yeah. almost walked out in my street clothes. I'm like, I'm doing this. <laughs> well, when they kicked oh, wait, you off, sorry. they said you specifically, Kip, get off the mat. Yeah. That was like, oh, poor guy. Yeah. He doesn't get to do this fun army crawl. Yeah. Well, I had to, uh, yeah. I knew I, I had already talked to Corler, so I already knew where. Nice. Where I stood. Nice. Yeah, well, I was proud of my my wife was proud of me for actually not doing something when she told me not to. <gasps> wow. Good yeah. for you. Yeah, she actually was like, Yeah, you don't need to do this. Did I'm she like, buy you a brownie at three thirty when we got home? Oh fuck, I was so tired. <laughs> Bro. You just murdered me. <laughs> Brutal. Brutal. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> that uh that <laughs> he wrote it weird. That true may or not. Oh, that may or may not be true. That's what he meant to say. Okay. It depends on how they fall, how fast, and where they fall in regards to how you are positioned. Accidents happen and these things can't be avoided. But mindfulness of your partner's well-being is the key distinguishing characteristic as to how often you'll be hurt by a certain person or people. I, as a big guy, have never had the complaint, you're too big, and you have hurt me by falling on me. Polly even said that he's far more comfortable rolling with me, even though I outweigh him by quite a bit... Uh, more than a guy that is bigger than him, but not quite my size. That just started today. That, yeah, that was my. Yeah, 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 I so, agree. Yes, yeah, so we had a couple. You know, every now and then we get the monster, right? So one guy was a, a professional bodybuilder. One guy was a professional strongman. For fuck's sake, and then that we just dude was get a, the, f- was literally the mountain from Game on Game of Thrones. Yeah, holy shit! Hey, you remember that guy? He, or maybe he was before. He wasn't there. Was he very, at the old gym? No. The, uh, yeah, I think so. It was what, at the old gym. Was he? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yep, yep, no. yep. There was no. I was the biggest guy at the old gym. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah, this guy, guy made you look small. Ass. Yeah, he was, was a just fucking mountain muscle. dude. Nice. It was crazy. He, and it wasn't like chiseled. It was just fucking huge. Like he was corn fed. Yeah. yeah. Well, he literally did strongman contests, right? Yeah. 
literally did those. The ones that you know, like lift a rock and put it on a car and then Jeez. pick up the car and no. put yeah. it on a small Roll baby. tires over. <laughs> <laughs> and they pay you. Like it's yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. But yeah, it's people like that. I'm like, ah, that doesn't look like it's any fun. <laughs> you know, for, for an old middle-aged <laughs> man. That's just a blue belt. Like, I'm not that good. You know what yeah, I mean? That's when You're I only hide. 40. I think 60 is middle age now. Is it really? Yeah, 60 is the new 40? Yeah, I think so. The goalpost has been moved on me? Yeah. All we're right. good. Well, my knees are, my knees are <laughs> 60. Good. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> we're good. No, yeah, I didn't come in on knees. <clears throat> check, check. All right. Uh, so the issue is experience level and how mindful they are of your well-being, not size. Here's here's the caveat that you should give. And I, and I kind of alluded this uh, today with him. I'm like, when you were a, a blue belt... Like when you just got your blue belt, he was 15 years old going on 16. How much better were you than any typical black belt? That makes sense. Like you're 16 years old and you're probably as good as most black belts. Because well, you've been doing it since you were three. But, well, you've, you've been doing it since you are three. You're only at a blue belt because you hit teenager. Yeah. That's the only reason you're a blue belt. Yeah. You know, not in a bad way. <laughs> yeah. But like, in the way. Look at you yeah. guys. <laughs> yeah. But the, yeah, honestly, it's a good fucking question, actually, Paul. Because I don't like my, giving you credit for things. <laughs> my blue belt level is not your blue belt level. No, you know? no, no. So no. I, I can't intelligently enough defend myself against that as you could at that same level. And I agree it's a personnel issue, but it's also I should be able to defend myself. So I should be able to go, hey, I can take somebody like Larry Size and he's a, let's say you're a spazzy white belt. You don't give a shit about my well-being. I should be able to just put you on your ass and do what I want. Sure. And I should. Sure. At, at, at yep. this level, almost blue belt, yep. I should absolutely be able to do that. Yeah. But somebody that's at Kip's level, baby blue belt, maybe he can't yet. Like he's good. He knows some stuff, but the physical discrepancy is so far that it's like, shit, he might, he might get hurt. So that's kind of what I was talking about. Make yeah. sense? Yeah, a lot. Thanks for uh, thanks for yeah, talking shit about me. Well, I mean, you do suck. Self admittedly, I'm not saying nothing you didn't say. Wow. Just that's true. <laughs> we, would, we would never say anything to you guys to each I mean, other without saying to the face. Yeah, and you yeah. know, at least I'm using you know technique rather than strength to get through my rules. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm dead. Watch me power out. <laughs> <laughs> right in the field, Skip. Right, right in the fields. <laughs> this promotion brought to you by No Fields. <laughs> uh, uh, moving on. That was good. Uh, two. They are too strong. <clears throat> well, why don't we complain that someone is fast, flexible, agile? Why only complain of strength? We don't say this guy is too agile for me to tap him. We just say he's really good or he moves really well. But when he's too strong, it's easy to use their strength as a backhanded compliment. He's too strong. Like they are brutes, which some are, but not all of them. That was the point earlier that I was talking about. Like, I like hey, that point, though. It's like it's like Ben. He's uh, very agile and he's very Gumby-like. But I'm not like, you You just beat me because you're flexible. It <laughs> just, just sounds stupid. You beat like, me because you can invert yeah. really well. Like, nobody says that shit. No one says that. Yeah. But if Rob Bowers gets a hold, you're like, you're just using your strength. That, seem, that seems to be like a, a well-accepted, cool statement. But the only thing is, like, Rob Bowers is the quintessential. If you look at him, you're like, oh, you're a wrestler. But the only thing that once you get involved with them, that once lifts you heavy shit them, all the time. Yeah, like he <laughs> yeah. literally works outside, <laughs> fucking does up, manly yeah, shit. Yeah. And but he's dude, he's got technique. He's thrown me yeah. some really cool shit, and, and he's really teachable. He yeah, will teach you anything. He anything, wants. anything that's in his head, he'll teach you, which is awesome. Yeah. And but you wouldn't see like that. You wouldn't yeah. think that you'd be like, oh, you're just gonna muscle me. Yeah, that's the point here. They do that. Yeah, yeah. The, the point here was it would somebody would go. The only reason Rob beat me is because he's big yeah, and strong. Exactly. And you would say that, and that'd be like a thing you would hear, even though it's not true. Yeah. With, excuses. Yeah. With yeah excuses, excuses. Exactly. exactly. But you wouldn't say the only reason Ben beat me is because he's slick and Gumby-like. Well, yeah. I, I would. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Because it. it makes me feel like yeah. shit. It's just true. All right. <clears throat> but the thing to keep in mind is that jujitsu was developed by a frail little man so that he could win fights against bigger guys. So when you say they are too strong, this doesn't work on them. You're really just saying that this one guy in particular defies all that jiu-jitsu stands for. <laughs> good. He is the singular proof that disproves jiu-jitsu. Come on, that's bullshit. That's what he says. The, yeah, okay. I, agree. Yeah. I agree with him. I agree yeah. totally. But it's, had you thought about that before, though? 
Because I, I not that specifically. Yeah, jujitsu is jujitsu. Yeah. Well, and that's you know, like not. well, and that's what we've said before is you know the wrestling and the using your weight and using your attributes. Well, most of that's not jujitsu. Sure. So why are you doing it? You know, to give but, an advantage because they yeah, don't have the technique. Can't, yeah, can't, yeah. I don't mm. have the technique, so I'm gonna use what I have. Yeah. As a white belt, I get it. You know, first couple months, you're like, okay. Well, you can't really even pull that card. You got like less than two weeks, <laughs> and he's gonna be We're a blue belt. Yeah. And then at that point, I'm like, well, I didn't learn that. That's the excuse. <laughs> that you yeah. Well, no one taught me that. Like, we well, just lost. It's okay. Yeah. Get yeah. better from it. Yeah. yeah. Learn from it. Ask them how the fuck they did that yeah. to you. We've talked about it, but anyways. All right. I digress. Um, back to the paragraphs. Yeah. Back to, back to the paragraphs. We, this is a fucking tangent back, fest. <laughs> back, back to the book. Gutenberg. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? How about you work on your technique? How about you improve your technique? No, no, no. They're just that strong, really? Then how can, you, uh, how can the guys your size with more training than you handle them, but not you? Maybe it's the, just that they have better jujitsu than you. And it's a fair point. So, <laughs> so I might be, uh, for example, say, I don't want to roll with Larry because he just uses size and strength and I can't win. Then I'll watch somebody like Ben roll with Larry and whoop the floor with him. Easily. Yeah. So what's that saying? That's saying that I have shit jujitsu. That's all I'm saying. Yep. So yeah. that's that's a valid point. I think, something that yeah. most people I don't think think about. One no. of the podcasts you guys had a while ago, maybe last year, it was uh, don't compare yourself to anyone else. Yes. Because you can. You can't. Everybody's there's, different. Is Everyone's different. Doesn't matter if you're a big dude. Like yep. you roll totally fucking, like let's just use our lame example of brandon sure other big dude you yep. roll totally fucking different than yep. brandon like completely different than I like, brandon i like moving he likes yeah. the sedentary yeah he does well moves. he's more into piece by piece movement yes so he likes to hit here yep. and hit here that is not like larry is a little fairy at heart he wants to be floating around yes. on people he really does spinning i love yeah. that well, he fairy <laughs> Uh, it's, a, it's like a daily like thing, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, hey, fairy. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Get, when you have daughters, it's, you know how it goes. Yeah, oh, that's, yeah, that's yeah. where it came yeah. from. I'm like, that, yeah. no, I didn't mean it in any way. I was thinking yeah. Tinkerbell, bitches. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> that's all I'm thinking. You have to be light on your feet. So, so yeah. are we. <laughs> yeah. <It's> very, <laughs> Paul. <laughs> Fucking Paul. <laughs> Every time it's Paul. <laughs> yeah. Keep reading ass. Uh, oh, you want me to go? Okay, okay gotcha, gotcha. Out. For a big guy. I am very weak physically. <clears throat> Bullshit. Good Lord, Croiler. I have rolled with guys that I feel are super strong, yet my technique hasn't failed me. Strength is definitely a difficult Which barrier, is true. barrier to overcome, but technique conquers all, and you should work on you before you bitch someone is just too strong for a technique to work on them. Agreed. Number three, they are so big that nothing works. What does that even mean? <laughs> I was going to ask, like, what? Everyone goes goes out if you choke them. They all bleed red, and their joints are made of the same shit as the smaller counterparts. What do you mean? Uh, what you mean is that you do not have the experience to adjust or modify your attacks to deal with the difficulties of a bigger guy. Agreed. It's what? really just not even a bigger guy. It's just a different body type. Yeah. Yep. Right. Because I know when we were with a big uh, with the big bodybuilder type guys that we had. Like, my little fucking armbar thing looked really stupid because I would end up looking like a bangle. Yeah. Yeah, neck, yeah. Like, bracelet on their arm. I'm like, yep. this would still work if I didn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Sure. So, it, it was... next choke just like everyone else. Yeah, exactly. Some of them. I mean, if yeah. they had necks. Yeah, some of them don't. Yeah, that's scary. Yeah. But their legs were... Go steroids. Yeah. <laughs> their legs are so easy to attack. Yes. Oh, yeah. All Especially those big upper body dudes. Like, right. oh, right. I'm just going to turn around. Just be fine. Yeah. I'll let you try to get on my back. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Your foot's <laughs> mine. All right. One. Damn it. I don't know where I'm at. Ah, here it is. Nope. Still lost it. This is awesome. I'm doing so good. <laughs> What you mean is that you do not have the experience to adjust or modify your attack to deal with the difficulties of a bigger guy. One could argue it is just as difficult to submit a hyper-flexible little guy than to submit a bigger guy. But it isn't as intimidating, and we can't really admit that submitting a smaller guy is difficult. Yeah, that's fair. No, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like uh, um, me, for an example, try a Kimura on me. My arm will just keep going back and back and back. Gross. Until it makes you uncomfortable. Gross. And you're like, oh. <laughs> Gross. Or if you go after mine or Brandon, just happens to come up, go ahead and try to straight in clock me. No. Good fucking luck. I don't, I, I, I haven't had anybody that it hurts. 
Uh, no, I'm sure now Crowley's going to be like, ooh, gonna what's say, this? Challenge accepted. When, yeah, good luck. But, yeah, but it, honestly, I've had I've had some I've had Justin pull on him. I've had Justin yank. It. Doing pretty. I, I'm okay. But How about yeah. the heel hook? Because that's a whole different animal. Heel hook fucks up my knee. I can't even. No yeah. way. Yeah, that that goes that's to a whole different level, one. dude. That's gross yeah. as fuck. I if anybody's listening in our gym, please don't even get in the position. Yeah, I'll, I'll tap if I feel yeah. you oh, yeah. reaching around. I'll just tap. Same oh, I do yep. the same thing, and I'll give you a high five for yep. doing that. I'll be yeah. like, "Well played, yeah. you win." Yeah. You, you, there's, it's not worth it, Mm-mm. and it's no, it's a good move. Yeah. I mean, it is. It's a great move. It's it's effective. Not gonna let you do it. <laughs> <laughs> scared of, scared yeah, of it. Yeah, I'm scared of it. Not gonna happen. One of the few. That, yeah, that move. Well, yeah, that move. It, well, it's just so uncontrollable because yep. once it can go one more little extra pull, your fucking knee's gone. Yep. everything's gone. Weirdly, mine's already gone, so... <laughs> you don't want to do it again. No, because I think it'll it the other way. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You'll yeah. have a whole backwards. different way of being gone. Perfect. Yeah. Inside out. <clears throat> Jack. Perfect. Number four, they just land me. To that, I ask, uh, where are your frames? Where was your sweeps mm-hmm. when they were in your guard? Or your takedowns? Yeah, that's fair. I don't Takedowns, have I'll give you. I got none. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't have those. I just lay on the ground. Yeah. Just go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, I'll be problem. down here yeah. if you want me. <laughs> <laughs> Too injured. I'm good. Uh, number That's five. my ground fighting. Yes, ground fighting. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. No. Number five. They just force things and aren't technical. So while this may be true in some cases, it isn't the case for all bigger guys out there. I myself think that people would think my jiu-jitsu would be far more impressive if I was smaller. The reality is some big guys are buffering poor technique with the size and strength, but not all. Yeah. I mean, shit, I did that for years, and I wasn't big. Just like some little guys are buffering poor technique with their smaller size and flexibility, but not all of them. I did it with my speed. <clears throat> yeah. Like, I was quick, I could, and I had good balance. So I had to have Pauly show me to stop fucking doing that because I wasn't learning anything. <laughs> we got a couple like that right now. If you're listening and you're fast and that's all you use and people tell you, listen, slow yeah. down. Yeah, it's not. you're not learning. You're stifling yourself. Lay stop on the ground. It. Ooh, that's a good show. You should do a good, just a whole show on fucking listen. <laughs> People they will know listen what they're talking show. about. <laughs> fucking you listen, like fucking damn it. Downloads. Nah, bro, I like the win. <laughs> well, we went from a lot of downloads to four. <laughs> and they were damn all it. by your parents. Yeah. Mm. That's wrong. That sounds personal. I'm glad <laughs> to, uh, not retract that. <laughs> How dare you? We'll edit well, it we, out. It would have had to be three. How's that? Can you put that together? Yeah. You insensitive we can fuck. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just assign you a new one. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Uh, number six. If a big guy catches me in a submission, they are so big that something is going to give before I get the tap. And I can't resist that. The reality is that this is just as likely to happen with smaller guys as they have to put more energy into a submission than yeah. a bigger guy. And that's that's a good point. I'd be way more fearful of it of that's once again down to the skill level. Mm. Like when somebody's just diving on a freaking arm bar or diving onto a freaking Kimura or Americana. Yeah. I'm way more worried about it. If that's the only thing they know, I'm like, Oh God. Yeah. Cause they're using all their weight. <laughs> their, on their arm. Their yeah. weight. Everything, all, everything, everything they, they have, have yeah. is yeah. on that. And it's like, fuck. Just tap. Uh, yeah. Right? Just yeah. tap. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, you win. <laughs> Tapping is your friend. Yes, it is. I was explaining it to somebody at the gym. Cause Ooh, he, he was, he was t-shirt idea. Yeah. <laughs> Tapping is your friend. Is your friend. Trademark Larry Corsa right now. There you go. <laughs> He was, I'll, mis- uh, I'll misspell it and it'll be fine. It's fine. I probably <laughs> would too. Uh, sorry, go ahead. You done? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tentatively. Yeah, all right, maybe. We'll interrupt you real quick. They, uh, I forgot what I was saying. Perfect. Oh, yeah, this guy was fighting uh, uh, Kimura to the nth degree. Like, he wasn't going to tap until it hurt. I'm like, no, 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 you don't want to do that. You want to tap well before it hurts. Like, you, yeah. you, you miss the position. They have it. You can't get out of it. Just tell them to stop and yep. start over again. Like, don't fight everything. Tell them why. I did. Yeah, yeah no. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. If you're in that position, yeah. it doesn't hurt, but they have it right. Say, look, you would have this, but I'm Gumby. Yeah. You know, well, that's, that's why I've told people. Yeah. I've tapped and they're like, did it hurt? No. Yeah. <laughs> but you would, But I, you had it so far, and I explain it every time. You had it so far that, yeah, I could have fought and just sat there and let you do it. But why you anybody else with a normal fucking arm would have tapped out ten minutes ago just because I can stretch that fucking Kimura pff, doesn't help anything. Fuck you. And yeah. once it goes, it's gonna go freaking hard. Yeah. Like oh, you're past my limit and my arm's going the wrong way. Good luck. Yeah. Fuck that. 
<laughs> they probably wouldn't drive you to the hospital. Yeah, either. but you guess what? You don't have to be a big guy for any of these no, things to happen yeah. at all. I think that's the moral of the story. I yeah. think that's where we're headed. I think we're, that's where he's getting at. I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, Winnie the Pooh. But, but I've also... <laughs> and I, yeah, do, is there any more Winnie the Pooh quotes? I wish there was. Dude, uh, his his boys down there were ripping him a new one for that bitch. Nice. It was great. Nice. See, I listen. Just not all the time. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. Honesty. Uh, all right. But Lack the real, of support, but honesty. But the real truth is that the partner that cares about your well-being, bigger smile, will not hurt you if you're caught. They'll demonstrate control. The ones that don't care will not. So what are the commonalities in all of these complaints and rolling with a big guy issue? They stem from three things. Fear, inability, and bias. One. Fear that they are going to be hurt. Fear that they are going to struggle. Fear that they are going to get tapped. Fear that an accident with them being that big will immediately equate to injury and that their size somehow implies a more likely chance of that occurrence. Two, inability that due to their size, my technique isn't good enough to work on them or I will lose to them more often due to their size or that everything I know is rendered useless once somebody gets to a certain size or that I will lose to someone that isn't as good as me due to sheer size difference. And three, bias. We are all told all of our lives that size matters and that if someone is bigger, heavier, taller, stronger, or more muscular than you, then they are simply better than you or scary. That's actually a really good point. Because you know everybody grows up going, don't fuck with him. He's, He's huge. huge. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, nobody, nobody uh, Larry size got picked on in high school. Guess who did? Me. Because <laughs> I was small and an easy target. I've been How the much same you size uh, since sixth grade. Have you? Six foot. Really? Grew up in sixth grade, yeah. Fuck. You, you were that guy I hated. Holy shit. Well, I was, you, you were a fucking I've been mama. the same guy my whole life. Just nice. Didn't care about anything. No, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's not why I hated you. It was oh. jealousy. Oh. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. nobody fucking was fucking with you. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe no. your buddies, but. Well, yeah. Huh? Yeah. That's just fun. Yeah. yeah. I mean, d- you didn't get picked on, didn't get jumped in the hallways. You know, as you hear people, do, I got beat up. Like, oh, that sucks. Paul, you want to speak on that? No. <laughs> no. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I have a question, though. How how much did you weigh in high school? I graduated at 140, 145. Okay. Wow. So you actually weighed more than I did. Really? Yeah. I, yeah. Was, I was at like 135, 137 at my top. So wow. when you have yeah. friends, same height, it doesn't. What's that? Same height? Yeah. Six foot. Wow. Uh, that's sick. Yeah. That's crazy. That's, That's gross. Like, oh, no. Cool breeze blow over right there. Yeah. Ask my wife. I'll post a picture. I think I got one or two pictures of back when we first got together of how skinny I was with my shirt off. It's fucking comical, dude. I look. What's that? Ethiopian. That's the look nice. I had. Ethiopian. The, malnutrition version, yes, not just yes, a yes. standard version. No, standard versions are quite attractive people. Yeah. However, the malnutrition are, uh, are the issue. Yeah. I thought you were talking about, that was you know, me. You're talking about concentration camp version. Yes. Gotcha. Yeah. Sickly yes. cancer AIDS. Yes, yeah. it was bad. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All the diseases. Yeah. At once. Yeah, but mostly it's, in your face. But somehow I didn't get picked on. I love the mostly in your face comment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to move on from it. Yeah. <laughs> well, when you're like we said before, when you're on team sports and you have friends, then yeah, you know you have a crew. Best. I wasn't yeah. on a team of any sort. <laughs> it's just like it's the yeah. best. Sucks to be Paul. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> Nor did I have friends. It was great. Yeah, it's awesome. Do yeah. you have because I couldn't Paul. read? No, you have a couple. Do I? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Now we can finally address those three common root causes of the most common fears of rolling with bigger guys. One, fear. Fear comes from not having experience. Rolling with bigger guys is something we should all do so that we can earn the experience or learn to deal with big guys and their body styles and how they um, behave and move. Just like I encourage people to roll with people that are smaller than themselves for much the same reason. <clears throat> yeah, that's fair. I guess you and me are rolling next time, Larry. You're my new partner. Yeah. He, he, yeah, he doesn't want to roll with bro. me. You fucked him up already. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. Just I go just after that I have to watch knee. myself for the oil checks. <laughs> They're <laughs> pretty prevalent with uh, Paul's game. Yeah, especially just he's accept like, them. Not only has one leg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'd be easier now, yeah. 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 Maybe I won't get that leg hooked. I'll just concentrate. Yeah, you yeah. Just have hey, one don't roll on this leg. Like, well, what am I supposed to do? You only have one leg. He, you are kind of the pri- pirate of jujitsu at this point. Know, yeah. A little bit, yeah. yeah. yeah it sucks. So yeah. we're just going to steal your knowledge. Perfect. Yeah, like yeah. the Highlander. I've been doing that shit for a while. <laughs> cut my head off. He's, gonna, yeah. he's <laughs> just going to be a husk <laughs> pretty soon. <laughs> I'm not mad at that. No. All right. Fear that you will get tapped. That happens to everyone. Refusing to roll or avoiding rolling with a big guy. Uh, that's silly and childish because this mentality shares the same common error that people that handpick the easy roles have in class. I won't go into that. Just grow up. Tapping is a healthy part of learning and growing. 
fair enough. Yeah, I think a lot of people, I'm not going to roll with Larry because if Larry taps me out and I'm a blue belt and he's a white belt, well, that just makes me look stupid. Oh, they do that. You've, you ta- tell. you've tapped me before. Once. And I got Dan once, and I yeah. felt bad because I had, like, a really good choke on, yeah. but he wasn't tapping, and I was, like, I was waiting, and his face looked up at me, and I was just, I let go, and he just looked at me and blinked. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, well, I love yeah. you, Dan. Yeah, Dan's awesome. <clears throat> Fucking love that human First being. guy I ever rolled with. Yeah. Great. He's great, great dude. Yeah, he's but yeah, but I get yeah, it. I mean, I get that, but, like, for me, I don't give a shit. If Larry catches me, I don't give a crap. It's not because of his size. That's for damn sure. Yeah, too many people think that if I outrank somebody... I cannot tap. Together. Yeah, that's it's crazy. It's, it's such weird, a that's yeah. a big thing too. Because you're probably lazy at that moment, or the, your technique isn't as good. Yeah, or you ha- or yeah, he has a certain technique that works against your game. Like your guard is a fucking bitch for me. I can't really I sweep like you very well. I think I learned it from him. Yeah, it could have been. It's very that. similar because yeah. you keep my hips out of the way. It mm. fucking sucks, and it's good. It's perfect because it makes me work harder. So I have to do other things. Yeah, with Larry. Yeah. But and, it's good. It makes everyone better. Yeah, exactly. And it's not because of your fucking size that you're fucking you're, that you can keep me at bay. Yeah, it's, I'm not it's, laying on your legs. No, you're not laying yeah. on my legs. You literally, when you do grab my legs, you use your shoulders. Yeah. it's never anything else, and it works because yeah. you're using correct pressure yeah. and on a pinpoint area. Not because you're big has nothing to do with it. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll get my blue belt, and the next day I'll just lay on everyone. Fuck yeah. Not <laughs> even not even jujitsu style, nope, just yep. lazy fuck style. Yep. Just like, lay on them like yeah. Homer Simpson. Yeah. Just lay just, there. And just go, oh. <laughs> do something about it. Come on, bro. If you're you good, you could move me. You can't get out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you're blue belt. You yeah. can't get me off of you. <laughs> oh, you should really do that. <laughs> I think it'd be great. I think they would tell me to leave. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, they can't do that about it, though. They're stuck. Yeah, they're like, uh, yeah. Tr- transgression? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 we're good. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah make it's you part of learning. Yeah. Make you leave. You have to get out from underneath yeah. me before you do make it. me leave. Yeah. I'm not getting up on the bell rings. <laughs> <laughs> this is my new spot. <laughs> You're, like, You're my new couch. <laughs> I like it. All right. Uh, fear that an accident will occur and I will get hurt. Well, shit, you aren't baking cupcakes here. Accidents can happen <laughs> in a combat sport. Combat sport. Read that again. Combat sport. He didn't say art. I like that. Yeah, no. All right. However, if you are saying that accidents will cause injury, um, that will ca- cause injury happen more often with big guys, that isn't true. It's not the big guys that will hurt you more. It's the inexperienced and the reckless training partners that will hurt you more and most often. But it's really hard to blame or to vocalize fear, fearing rolling with someone that is smaller than you for fear of injury or recklessness. Very true. Very true. Yeah. Never, never been hurt by a big guy. No, not once. No. I've been really uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you got knocked the fuck out by. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they texted me after I went home and said, "I think your friend's dead." And I was like, uh, "You got to be more specific because <laughs> there's only two of them." <laughs> Just cut it in half. Yeah. I, They're both injured, but which yeah, one's dead? Exactly. Dude, I I forgot about that. Yeah. That's good. That's called a concussion. <laughs> oh, that's why NFL players do that kind of stuff. Oh. They kill themselves afterwards because they got thirty to fifty of them a day. Yeah, don't do that again, Kip. Yeah. You should probably never roll the big guy because of that specific reason, right? I think so. Yes. It was because he was big. Yeah, that's not the only because reason. he was doing a sloppy ass pass. Yep. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> He's <laughs> like friendship <laughs> over. He's a cop too. I can't go to that town yeah, anymore. He's getting shot next time they come to town. <laughs> what town is this? Get your tickets. Yeah, I'm not telling you. <laughs> Let's stay out of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going there. Anymore. Number two, inability. It is very hard to admit that our inability to sub a big guy as easy as we can a smaller training partner is due to our technical shortcomings. It is easier to blame on their size. It isn't any different when than when people compete and underperform that they must get stronger. Why don't we say I must get better? Because that would illuminate to a technical shortcoming. True, there are difficulties that are specific to bigger guys, just like there are some that are specific to smaller guys. But we should strive to have perfect technique and a deep enough knowledge of our techniques that we can and know how to adapt to deal with a specific body type of difficulties. I think that's an American thing. I really do. Explain. uh, I lived in Europe for four years. Um, A lot of people there don't complain like we do. Mm -hmm. Like they get a raw deal in life. You don't see it as much. I mean, you see it in big masses and stuff like the recent protests. But well, yeah, that's a little different. That's yeah. a mob mentality. Yeah, you don't. When see everybody's like, speaking, it's easier yeah. to speak. 
individuals, you don't see them complaining as much like, oh, I got a rough deal. Like, they just, you know, it's the old suck bootstrap, quote unquote, bootstrap mentality. Yeah. yeah, let's suck it up and change our outcome on our own. Yeah. We used to be like that, but not anymore. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's been worn we'll out. Go back there. Yeah. Probably One day. not. Yeah. Well, and it's. it's when the apocalypse happens. Yes. Purge. <laughs> Where the fuck have we ended up here? I don't know, but I like I it. We Are we on Joe digression. Rogan's podcast right now? Are we going to the Flat Earth next? We're not, we're Aliens not come. <laughs> 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 All right, number three, bias. Well, that comes with just training and realizing that big guys aren't any different than smaller guys. It's the assholes that hurt you. Whether they are big or small doesn't make a difference. So now that we understand the fears, biases, and complaints about big guys and how all those things are irrelevant to getting hurt, we must address the big guys in the room so that we can train most effectively without acting true to all the stereotypes people already have upon us. The reality is that these tips will apply to everyone, to all people that are the flexible, the strong, the big, the lanky, the tall, the agile, the explosive, and so on, because that comes down uh, what comes down to it is that we can train and not rely on our natural athletics and physical attributes. Are you ready? <laughs> All right, this Larry. is for you. Oh, that Larry, was Larry, this is for you, Larry. <clears throat> now we're, okay. Oh, this is this is like if or, you're a big or, guy, strong guy, he's saying uh, this is for big guys, right? Because you have a stereotype. Like yeah. nobody gives a shit about the uh, the small, lanky, gumby, mm-hmm. fast, quick. Nobody yeah. gives a shit about those guys. They give a shit about the big, strong guys. Yeah. That's where the complaints are coming from. That's, I can do a push-up. Can you really? A. <laughs> Yeah? Hey. I bet oh, you could do two. I don't know. What are you pushing it? How low do after, I have to go? After, <laughs> chest to ground, <laughs> baby. To lock out? Chest yeah. to ground. Yeah, locking out, no. Ooh, <laughs> fail. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I could do three girl pull-ups. The ones where you start off in the bars right at your neck already. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'd be about it. I like and someone's that. holding onto my legs, too. And, and helping pushing. you up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and pushing. <laughs> and sweating. <laughs> <laughs> but you can do them. Yeah. That's all that matters. I'm there. In my uh, head, it counts. I fucking love Larry. <laughs> All right. Number one, training relying on your physical or athletic attributes is silly as it allows you to make your mistakes and flaws and buffer improper and flawed technique in such a way that you may get it to work. But it doesn't change the reality that your technique is just flawed. And once you get to a certain level or if you meet someone with a higher affinity, your athletic physical attributes and they cancel it out. All that you have left is shit technique. Translating this to the layman so that Paul can keep up. <clears throat> Thanks, Crowler. If you are using strength to make techniques work, you will buffer the flaws in those techniques, and that will work for a while until you meet someone that is stronger than you and cancels out your strength, buffer, or someone that is better than you, and their technique dispels your preferred buffer, in this case, strength. Yeah, that's exactly it. So you can be jacked as fuck. Like when I first started, I was jacked, and if all things were equal, I could buffer my shitty technique with just being really strong yeah, yeah just yeah. holding something yeah yep. but as soon as i'd roll with a blue belt it, it didn't fucking matter or sure. if i rolled with another jacked white belt sure it didn't matter it was two rams yeah. locking horns yeah so yeah rather than going you know what i need more deadlifts that'll yeah. make yeah. me better at jujitsu that Definitely. was that was my mentality along with a lot of other people's like well these people clearly it's their cardio and their superior strength that is you know giving them all this ability yeah but you know that was a shit mindset and if you have the same stop that good job buddy <clears throat> check don't be paul self-realization don't oh i'm sorry you can be paul don't be pu- bucket hat paul bucket hat paul. don't be bucket, okay. bucket hat, paul. hat he was, paul he was something he was, he was something he was not <laughs> not my proudest moment nah. there you go yeah. nor nor should it no nah. no those the flexing picture still flexing. great you didn't see that? Oh no, my god, so bro! Bro, after the it, podcast, I'll get down. So oh, excited. unless you want to bring it up right now. So oh, you, yeah, yeah, you're going to need to it. see yeah. this. All right, you, yeah. you do that while I yep. keep. You go ahead and read. All right. So, if you're a big guy, roll to your partner's physical abilities. Meaning, if you are two times stronger than them, roll at half strength. If you are a fast guy, roll their speed. If you are a heavy guy, roll with their weight in mind. Meaning, you match their weight. So, yeah, I, mm-hmm. I can do that. So, if I'm rolling with um, Robert, like he's 120 pounds. I'm not putting all my pressure on him. I'm not putting all my weight on him. I'm sure. putting just enough. Sure. Yeah. I'm always using just enough with everybody I roll. So yeah. if yeah. I'm rolling with Chad, I'll use everything I fucking have because sure. I can do that. And he's fine with it. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't Lasting matter you. anyway. Yeah. yeah. It just doesn't matter. If I'm rolling with you, I'll use just enough. Oh, my God. That uh, is the greatest picture ever. <laughs> 
You get a white tank top. It used to be called the wife beater. I think it's now white tank top now. It's 2019. Yes. Yeah, we yes, got to yes. do it politically yeah. correct. Yeah. Yes, white tank top. With a mustard stain and holy. Yeah, there was yeah. a mustard yeah. stain. Yeah. And a bucket bad. hat. It looks to be maybe up north in northern Michigan. No, no, no that no. was in uh, uh, <laughs> Tennessee. He look, looks so stupid. Yuck. <laughs> Yeah. That's all I'm going to say, guys. Yuck. Yeah. I was so proud of that. He so really proud. was. <laughs> yeah. Look, look at me. Is that the strongest you ever were? No. The largest you ever were? <laughs> no. Why? Yeah, I was going to say no. It's not. I'm, no. I'm noticing by your body by Jake Waybench over here that it's you've had it for a little while. No, actually, I no. got that from the neighbors like three months wow. ago. And they moved out. They're like, I'm just going to throw this away. I'm like, eh, fuck it. Put it in my basement. I've used it three times. Now. I was going to say, ask him how many times he's, yeah. he's actually used it. I don't know if you're... Do you remember Body by Jake? Oh, bro. Fuck yeah. yeah. Good good info, Marshall. Hell yeah. yeah. Um, gray sweatpants, black yes. t-shirt. Yes. Yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You got it. You got it. Oh, that was good my stuff. jam. It was. Oh, yeah. You guys are best and friends. <laughs> best Love <deep> connection. <laughs> <laughs> Long lost brothers. <laughs> <laughs> At least my son's not a swimmer. Oh, yeah. You, you, that that yeah. is <clears throat> awesome. So, Did Chris, you like my meme? It, it was pretty great. Dude, nice. it was the second greatest thing after that picture of the white glasses, though. Oh, yeah, with uh, Cricket with the white glasses on yeah. and his Speedo for yeah. his school um, yeah. swim meet. Yeah, so we were down at Croilers for the test, and we found Paul's illegitimate child, <laughs> <laughs> Cricket, who is in high school and a great kid, uh, blue belt down at Croilers. That's how you know he's not mine. Because he's great? Yeah. Yeah. True. Because he's a good person he was, in general. He was separated from you at birth as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the yeah. other family raised a good family, him. right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I get it. I get it. I'm back on board. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nurture and, over nature. And uh, <laughs> it was fucking hilarious because Morgan, who's had a few drinks, looks looks at him and goes, holy shit, you're his dad. <laughs> 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 and I look, I look over and I'm like... Oh, wow, she's not wrong. Oh, yeah. shit, that is my kid. <laughs> oh, like, hey, let's, let's take a picture together. I'm going to meme that. It was, it'll was. it never go away. Yeah. No, you are you now have a son. Yeah, His name is Chris. I feel Robert. bad for him. I know. I'm going to say, I, I don't no, feel bad about this He's such all. a nice this, kid. This is a great He's kid. a super nice kid. I watched him get hurt at that tournament. I yeah, he got, yeah, yeah. He's bounced back, though. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, I think he, he won, like, some kind of swim gold medal. Or yeah, he seemed okay. <laughs> I really <laughs> don't know anything. Swimming? Yeah, I don't know. Gold floaty. I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I, from <laughs> Tony the Tiger comes out and gives them to you. I don't know. <laughs> I like it. Uh, good. Well, all right. <clears throat> Moving on. This will make your roles tougher and you will struggle more. The struggle or added difficulty is why people don't do this. But there's a great benefit here because it is uh, it essentially removes the buffers you may have and allows your training to shine through. When it doesn't, this will force you to just improve your technique. That will get you to a new technical level. Try and win without the buffers. It'll be tougher now. This will improve your offense. Everybody should do that. Yeah. Everybody should just go, you know what? I'm going to get my ass kicked. Yeah. yeah. Because that's how you improve. Like by it taking away all so your... so counterintuitive. Oh, my you know? God. Because everybody wants to win. Yeah. And they just don't, Or they mm-hmm. don't want to lose or they want to do well or they want to be impressive or they're going, well... So if I roll with Larry and he's a four-stripe white belt and I roll with no physical attributes... He's got a great chance of of catching me and stuff. He just does. And if I think to myself, well, geez, Larry's going to think that I suck if he taps me out, so I can't let that happen. I'm essentially ruining my own jujitsu path and journey. I'm, I'm really, yeah, I'm really looking at you, bro. I love how you had to yeah. look at me in the <clears throat> eyes for that <laughs> longingly. Ugh, you know what I mean? Disgusting. So I'm I'm hurting my own jujitsu by by assuming that he one gives a shit about that. Yeah. Sure. But even if he does, it doesn't matter because this is about me. It's about my improvement. Yeah. And that's I'm it. not improving if I have to use strength and attributes to sure. beat him. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And yet people do it all the time. They feel good. Yeah. Like tell their best friends on podcasts about they got a one tap out. Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. They make their own podcast up. Yeah. I beat that ass. Yeah. It's fun to say. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I. I yeah. I don't, I don't remember tapping anyone recently, so no. I don't think it was me. I yeah. totally could have tapped out uh, Jesse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, mean, you mean when he was After just about unconscious? <laughs> yeah. When I laid on him and I was like, hey, just move your legs just a little yeah. bit, and that counts as movement. Yeah. He's and like, he, I can't. Yeah, he, he kept making the weirdest noise. <laughs> 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 like, what the fuck is that noise? Don't puke in your own mouth. Don't puke in your own mouth. <laughs> oh, I was just saying, let it all out, buddy. Let it all let out. It out. <laughs> What do you think Jesse weighs? 
185? Ooh, I don't know. Solid mm. 185? <laughs> no. He's a, he's a very strong I think, individual. I think he's like 165, 175. Right he's now. so compact. Yeah. Yeah, because he's, he's shorter. He's a shorter dude. <laughs> he's very solid with anyone Fuck he rolls yeah, with. yeah, he is. Anyone, just methodical. Doesn't matter. Doesn't yeah. matter how big they are, dude. That dude can run through yeah. you. Not even with his physical nope. attributes. Because yeah. I used to think, I'm like, man, he uses those fucking Jesse, the yeah. body muscles. Yeah. Nope. The only reason he beats me is because he's so strong. Moving on. <laughs> 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 Number two. Allow yourself to be placed in undesirable positions that you may not encounter otherwise. This will show flaws and weaknesses on your defenses. Continue to remove the buffers and see how much you struggle to get out of them. This will force you to develop better defense and better escapes. There you go. That's why I usually just lay down and say, hey, get whatever you want. We'll work from here. That's I want. Idea. I yeah. want to. I want to earn yeah. anything I get in jiu-jitsu. That's why I typically just give people whatever they want. You know, defense. if they want me to get top, sure, I'll get top. But yeah. I'll, I'll always just go, hey, get side control, get mount, back. I don't give a shit. I want to earn whatever position I get in every single role. Sure. Because I'm doing jiu-jitsu for the defense aspect, the yeah. self-defense yeah. aspect. Yeah. I'm not into it for competing. No. And I think even if you are, I think this is a good idea. Hey, dude, I think it's a great idea. Dude, earn your stuff. You're Someone's going, always going to beat you. Yeah, you're yeah, always going to get better be by, by getting a really good defense. Yeah. All right. Number three, roll with people with a completely different body type than yours. They have different buffers of their own, and much like them, you must learn to deal with their buffers. The little guy <clears throat> and their buffers are annoying. They are fast, agile, flexible like snakes. <laughs> okay. Andrew, you prick. Yeah, good job. <laughs> Hard to hold on to and deliver damage. Much like as a big guy, you present your own set of buffers. And number four, when do we let loose and turn our buffers on? In competition or when we need to protect ourselves. And you were saying that last week, I think. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> so apparently you were right. Until then, our only goal Shock. should be... Perfecting technique. I know, right? Weird. Imagine what a force to be reckoned with you would be with perfect technique and all your natural physical and athletic buffers working in conjunction. Sadly, anymore, most people focus a lot on their athletic and physical side rather than their technique. Yes. I actually, I actually want to do the, the next pro tip on how to prepare for a competition because I think most people prepare by helping their buffers and not helping their jujitsu. Sure. Yes. So I want to get into that for just cardio uh, and strength. Week. Yeah, exactly. Or I don't know about next week. <clears throat> you got something better in plan for next week? No, I just like to piss you off. Next week it is. <laughs> Cry like it on it. Do it. All right. To finish this way, way, way too abrupt, concise pro tip. Uh, concise? Th I think the thesaurus is needed on that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Does a thesaurus give actual words that make sense? I would hope so. Yeah, I think uh, so. Keep yeah. the following Google. in mind when training <laughs> with people smaller than you. Their bodies can take less, so turn off your buffer buffers and focus on techniques. Roll as if Hilo Gracie was watching. When rolling with people you don't know, you must protect yourself, especially... He said specially, but that's not the right word. If you don't trust I your training... I can't he hasn't argued with you on that. <laughs> that was his way of arguing. If you don't trust your training partner's awareness and level of care for your well-being, uh, remember, roll as if Helio is watching. I am sure, as frail as he was, if he didn't trust your ability to be mindful of his body, he too would protect himself. By the way, Paul should have been done with me on... Oh, uh, wait. By the way, Paul should have done this with me on the show. Too long to type. When the fuck isn't it too long to type? Because that dude says it all the time. I know. We give him a good topic, and he's like, Phew. I don't know. I can't. Well, he doesn't say, I don't know, because no. he knows. Well, of course. He knows. He just looks at you, and you know it. He's yeah. Like, yeah it's we, too we, long of a subject. Because I want to talk about, like, uh, creontes and stuff like that, his opinion on that. Like yeah, but in ladies in jujitsu, like, we, we have a second part that we're, uh, I actually talked to Morgan <laughs> recently that she has a great person in mind that's going to come on, too, Ooh, funsy. to give her the more experienced view as we did the beginner experience with my wife and um, my other wife Mel <laughs> and uh, that Matt, one Matt Mormon no and you're still no. two wives good for you yeah, yeah. I mean you, you gotta do it right you do you do yeah yeah <laughs> this this face doesn't actually get two wives <laughs> <laughs> this face this face barely got a wife he's like I'm rich yeah, yeah, right. secret rich I live off my wife's money. Yeah, that's the way to go. Hey, yeah. I haven't mm -hmm. figured that one out yet, but yeah. my wife's hot, so I'm good. Your wife's beautiful. I don't know how. It's a total accident. She's cool as shit. I think too. maybe like I poked her in the eyes and then she was like, Oh, Tom Cruise. Like, yes. Yeah. 
Fat Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I thought it was that military money you were making, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe that's what she thought. I should ask her one day. <laughs> Did you think people in the military make money? <laughs> we're really no, poor. No, but I can say my husband's <laughs> a hero. We're super poor. Yeah. Yeah, we but, live in asbestos rooms. Yeah. There's <laughs> a reason why they give us housing. Yeah. <laughs> we can't afford it. That's very true. <laughs> the NSA's laughing as they listen to us right now. Yeah, right. <laughs> wow, our show got shut down. That's fucked up. Weird. My Instagram account is gone? I don't understand. I think it was offensive. <laughs> oh, man. We're good people. Good times. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, Corlers, uh likes to likes to definitely, you know, throw out there, um, you know, pretty consistently, this is not everything I know. Um, Paul and Kip are stupid. And then again brings up at the end. It's a nice sandwich. Uh, remember, this wasn't everything I knew. Never teach everyone what you know. No, no. I think he does though. He does, dude. Like that, he will teach that dude you will give you everything that's everything. in his brain. Nice. He's an amazing human being. That's a great person to be around. It really is. Don't tell him. No. Yeah, we'll keep that between us. That I like sense. when he comes out to dinner with us afterwards. It's yeah. Like, oh, cool. Because he's like a regular guy. He's just though. yeah. He's just a regular. Dude. Oh yeah. no, he's, he's not regular. No. Well, you expect he's him different. to be like you know, like come in with like <laughs> he's like the old like 1984 Macho Man Randy Savage carried with, in wait, with, with women and with the white sunglasses. <laughs> on. Yes, you expect that. You know what I mean? I'm like, I get it. He's he's good. Well, yeah, it's uh, it's the same idea. When I met Sambowski out east, I'm like, this is gonna be something amazing. It's going to be something amazing. No, yeah. it's, oh my gosh, you're here with Corey. Give me a hug. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? You're normal. Oh, you want to go get food? Oh, yeah, I'll go get food. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to go cry in the car after this. Yeah, I'm just going to go, yeah. you know, the worst, not wash yeah. my hands. Yeah, no, not because I touched not at all. you. Keep that gee forever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mount it. <laughs> Put it up on the wall. Like a little Comic Sans thing next to it. He touched this. There you go. <laughs> not even who it is. Just to see. <laughs> They'll know. They'll You'd know. fucking know. <laughs> Demand everyone bow when they enter that room. Yes. I do that in my house anyway. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I like it. Am I the only one that bows when I like step off the curb in jiu-jitsu? Just out of habit? Have I, you ever I've, done that? I, yes, I've, I've done never that. done that. I've I have almost done fallen that. off the curb, but I've never bowed off the curb. Oh, I mean, I've fallen off the curb. Felon. Yeah. Felon. Definitely in, fell off I've been curb. a felon, idiot. God. <laughs> You're speaking. I can't to, you read actually had a, talk. You had a few fuck ups today. Like you said, instead of saying three, you said th. <laughs> you, yeah. you left out the R, so it was more of the. <laughs> well, but know, I let it go. I, I let it go you, out of pure love. If you catch them all, it's going to be a really crappy. Yeah, show. it'll be a really yeah, long yeah, show yeah. too. Yeah, like my. You just got to get the better. good ones, like episode. <laughs> episode. <laughs> Dave really liked that <laughs> oh, one. That was great. The, hey guys, Watertown, great Dave? episode today. Huh? Is that the guy from Watertown? No, that's um. God darn it. That's Paul. That's Paul Elliott. Okay. He's from Watertown. He's a black belt that coaches. He's yeah. the guy that drives the kid's car? Yeah. 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 yeah that, and he those stands guys in front there. of it That's like he's some Canada. kind of fucking superhero. Yeah. I assumed it was Canadian people talking like that. Nothing wrong with Canadian people, but they have a different accent than we do. A little bit. They most definitely do. Yeah. And Paul Seed. tried to channel that shit and said, episode. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm going to go outside and do it episode. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Larry, yeah, you got I, anything you wanted to talk about while you're on a podcast? Uh, not really. How wow, fucking you. helpful. We yeah. brought, brought you on just for your uh, yep. insight and knowledge, and it's you're like, just going, I'm not you, saying shit. Do you shit. like being heavy? It's like, no, but <laughs> no. I'm going to use it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have. Yep. I've weighed roughly around the same since high school. I joined the Army, and I lost about 65 pounds. Good Lord. And people literally told me to go see a doctor. Like People in the military are like, you might want to go see a doctor because you look sick. I was like, no, no, I just haven't ate right for six months. Yeah. And then when I just eat three meals again, I'm like, oh, I'm back up to about 220 where I used to sit. Wow. Yeah. And then I got out and did whatever I wanted, stopped exercising because my knees in my back, and I got up to about 260. Did oh. you ruin your knees in the military? Yeah. Or did you always have bad ones? No. I mean, I had <clears throat> sore once. I played football and oh, sports. You know, I was like, oh, yeah, it's a little yeah. rough. But I used to kick in doors. I was that guy because I was uh-huh. a big guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, go kick that door in. And I just... Probably had fun way. until it wasn't fun, yeah. huh? Yeah, and eventually that you know that meniscus just stops. Absorbing. Didn't they have that big bully club or something like what for the, the ones that wouldn't? You, you could kick indoors, but I kicked in probably in about two weeks. We did a we just did a bunch of like fun knocks, I'll call them, and I kicked in probably about two three hundred doors. Wow, good lord, weeks, yeah. Ooh. But just like that adrenaline, you don't feel it. Yeah, until and, yeah, until, until you're out. <laughs> yeah, until you're laying on the ground. Are you usually the first one getting shot at by kicking yeah. in the door? Yeah, that it's, doesn't sound it's like so fun. At fun. All. <laughs> oh god, I <laughs> never got sh- I never got shot at during that. It was really? always standing outside on the thing. When you when you're looking conspicuous, 
That's when they shoot you. When you're inconspicuous and no one sees you, they never shoot. They're like, oh, that guy looks like he has his stuff together. I'm not going to shoot at him. He might shoot back. But it's those guys standing around with their thumb off their butt. They're the ones that always get shot. Really? Yeah. Fascinating. They said, look mean and tough. They won't want to shoot at you. Really? It's interesting, right? That is interesting. It's scary. Because now it makes me think when I'm out on the street, I'm like looking at people. <laughs> you're eyeballing everybody. Yeah. Oh, I do. It's like you know, I'm crazy. ocular pat downs. <laughs> That's a great term. Oh Copyright. my god! It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Uh, maybe that would have worked oh, in high it? school. Nice. Uh, <laughs> yeah, being a small guy, but if you look crazy, they won't mess with you. What yeah. if you're loud and crazy? Because oh, that was me. I'm, um, yeah. yeah, fat and loud. That's me. Yeah, yeah small boy. that's why we all get along. Yeah, we get along <laughs> well. I tried so hard to never make contact for like my entire school career. Sure, didn't work. Sure, didn't work at all. Just like, be, look at that fucker. Kind of be invisible. <laughs> Throw him in a locker. <laughs> Hey, let's bounce balls off his face. <laughs> Where did you go to school? Wyoming Park. Never heard of it. Yeah, it's, it's is it a still is it still a school? Uh, no, they merged with uh, another one, but I think it's okay. still Wyoming Wolves or some shit okay. like that. I don't know. Yeah, it was in Wyoming. Yep. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, gross. Sketchy. So, no, there's some parts of it that are nice, like where your parents live is really yeah. nice. There's nice parts? Yeah. I'm not from here, so no, it's... No. Not many. Yeah. Hey, hey, we have listeners there. Yeah. We love you. Do and we, I'm, and I'm sorry. <laughs> Three. <laughs> sorry. Your parents. Uh, yes. Right. Your mother, who is going to get pissed that we swore again. <sighs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> I don't believe I did. No, you did good. Well, keep it you at that. Good, yeah. Were you trying not to? Yes. Really? Yes. Why the fuck do people do that? She's as bad as hell. Why, explain yourself. So My uh, mom might listen. So my mom, any, to hear my kids may listen to it and we'll figure out. Uh, <laughs> let them talk. Remember I the whole sailor thing? Oh, you're cursed like a sailor. Like... I was in the infantry. Yeah. It's like, that's pretty much our every fourth word is a vernacular of some kind of curse or a new inventive curse. Yeah. Like I sent you a man the other day of three curses you can make up for your own funness. That was really fucking great. So when you get out in public, oh, I didn't know you were cool at that time. Oh, Jack. I just thought you were just like, oh, let's play jujitsu. And then you were like secretly like, I hate everything that you guys do. But anyways. But no. I digress. He's with us. Yeah. Now he's. Now he knows. I'll send it to you tonight. Check. Dude, it's fucking great. <laughs> it might be the greatest thing ever. It oh, really is. Yeah. And then, so I just figured, I have to be a professional now. I work in a professional environment. I work with kids and in a public school, so I have to make sure that my swearing is dialed back. Oh, so I'll start swearing in other languages now, and uh, some people get it. Nice. Like, I learned I learned a little bit of Spanish just to swear. I learned, and when I lived in Germany, I learned a lot of German swears. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so it works pretty well. Well, Hugo per- tries pulling that shit off. The only thing Hugo says is Pora all the time. Yeah. Do you believe that's fuck? Really? Yeah. I don't know. Pora? Pora. Mm-hmm. P-O-R-R-A. Never heard of it. Yeah, I think it's fuck. If yeah. you hit translate, uh, it says fuck. Next week, Thursday, I'm going to find out what that means. You meeting him? Secret rendezvous? No, he'll just listen to this and then say oh, what it okay. means. Yeah. yeah, more than likely. Well, that's what's nice about the show. Oh, nice. We can just say something and people, like, uh, I asked what uh, Belend, B-E. Belend. Belend yeah. meant. And uh, fucking as soon as you listen to the episode, huh? In Spanish? Uh, nope. He's uh, it's from the UK. UK. It's like it's a here I can tell you slang term. It's yeah, the tip it's a of a dick. Term. Yeah, tip of a dick. Nice. And uh, it's what you like. We call you know, hey, you're a fucking asshole or yeah. you're a dickhead. That's it. It's just a slang nice. term that's yeah. used. Like your stupid bellend. Yeah. So we're like, nice. what the fuck's a bellend? And he's like, well, I'm gonna tell you. And he fucking messaged us when he heard this episode. Yeah. Perfect. We learned shit. Nice. I have cousins live in Scotland right now. I've texted him a couple weeks back. Nice. I'm gonna have to ask them now, just to just for that reason. Yeah, just ask if anybody else over there does that. <laughs> is it just the tip? <laughs> yeah. Is it just the tip, or is there more is involved? Talking shaftage? <laughs> shaftage? No, no, no. Uh, just the tip. Just you've the gone tip. too far. Yeah. Just kidding. You have not. Uh, let's see. Where is he from? Yeah, he's from the UK. Nice. Yep, you're from the UK. You know that's a region, right? Not really. Yeah. The, okay. Hey, fuck, tart. I know. <laughs> Multiple countries make up that beautiful united kingdom some people don't know that people just assume like current people in charge of other things just assume that's one place really (laughs) i'm going (laughs) non-political yeah we we don't do we don't do politics you don't want to bring anyone in no (laughs) don't get that fucker started over there paulie do not get him started we're not doing that shit this is a (laughs) jujitsu podcast We, we love everyone equally yes uh do we no. Okay. <laughs> Once it turns off, though, no. No, 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 no. No, no. no that shit comes out. So, no, it's perfect, though. Uh, yeah. It's a great place. Tip of a penis can been. also be I used as. Going. Oh, tip of a penis can also be used as an insult. <laughs> like, oh, that's pretty good. I like it. I like it. So, but yeah, that's what we. Uh, that's how we learn. Is uh, we get told things by our listeners. Perfect. We have way too many listeners. That's good. Let's get more. 
Yeah. Now you're talking. Yeah. Should we advertise? I love how we're just babbling. We're almost done, everyone. Why not? Um, because we don't advertise currently. Tell your friends. Well, you no, we do ask at, that. We laugh do, at we some are. silly people? Yep. Hey, we, hey, you'll learn some shit. Curler's yeah. in here a little bit. Yeah. And uh, no, we uh, got another review. I forgot that we can read that real quick before we, oh, we, t- did? we sign off. We got a review that's not showing I up. no right? idea. Uh, yeah, I you don't know, know, know shit, those. bro. You, no, I don't. <laughs> no, you don't. You I know our email didn't work. Ever? Uh, yeah, I, I broke the email. Oh, cool. It's fine. If you're sending us emails, yeah. If you're uh, if you're sending us emails, my bad. <laughs> they ain't it's gonna not, get to me. It's not gonna work for a week or two. Yeah, yeah, Direct no. eye. yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. a real issue. Yeah, I fuck something up. But, yeah, what are you gonna do? Yeah, yeah. We got. It's actually a really easy one. This podcast really helped me with my blue belt blues. Much respect. Hey, see, Shaka, winning hearts and minds. There yes. you go. I love it. Canada. I was from Canada. Perfect. So I'm all about it. But we love any of our reviews. We're going out of our way to try to read any of the reviews that comes through. So hey guys, like like uh, Larry said, tell your friends to listen in. We love uh, spreading the disease that is jujitsu and the way that we do it. <laughs> and um, you know, check us out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Gosh, sooner or later we'll know what we're doing and make that cool uh, and take it back from my wife, maybe. No, probably not. No. And uh, Twitter, or I think Twitter. Twitter, Twitter. Yeah. Okay, I don't get Twitter, dude. I do not understand it at all. 120, 180 characters or less. That's yep, about that's all it. I, that's that's all I know. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I don't know. My wife was handling it. No, I don't even think she is. So I'm able to get on that. So is it a haiku? I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but yeah, reach out to us. Let us know what you think of the show. What we could do better. We'll ignore it. And uh, yeah. That's pretty much where I'm at. Oh, we love. Yeah, reviews. if you have any uh, any questions, comments, con- I don't want to say concerns, yeah, concerns, whatever, we'll answer them. And we'll blow right by those. Yeah. But yeah, we have some uh, very dedicated listeners. Also, check out our store. Um, if you even just Google's uh, Grappling Dads podcast T-shirt, you will find it. It's on T Republic. Uh, we're right on there. You can get uh, the logo T-shirt and also just the belt and all the different belts and colors. So it doesn't have to be the gray I showed it on. You can pick out whatever color you want. We have confirmed that it's a soft, really nice shirt. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Dave. Also, good luck in your tournament, brother. Yeah. And Stay I'm, safe. Yeah, we shared a link uh, for Dave. Uh, he's doing it uh, as a fundraiser for the tap out for cancer. So Good cause. Great cause. Uh, can't wait to see how badly he gets murdered. And uh, it's going to be great. Yeah. Larry, anything to close on? It's all on you. Tip your waitress. <laughs> yeah. Larry can't come back on the show. <laughs> That's the point. I didn't. <laughs> well played, sir. Well played. All right, guys. Peace. Bye. See ya.